take 1,573.167. So here we are. It is April the 17th? No, I'm sorry, April the 19th, 2017. Wednesday, my off day, and I have to take the time out of it to once again devote to somebody else's bullshit and somebody else's drama. So right off the bat, here's a question. How many times does a person need to be warned before they take it seriously? One, two, five, six, seven, a hundred. Because now I have warned, I want to say, given that last video, what, five or six times now? Publicly said, stop talking shit about me. Stop lying about me. And the thing is, guys, we are talking obvious lies. Really obvious lies. And I'm so sick of this shit. I am. I went on live stream the very first time that she started this shit. And she didn't have the gall to say anything in my face. She basically just blocked me when she realized she couldn't get whatever the fuck she wanted. Which is funny because she's telling everybody that I blocked her, which is retarded. You realize I can just go on Facebook, pull it up and say, I never blocked you. It's an obvious lie, but you keep telling it. Just like the stuff with my GoFundMe. I went on live stream and talked about all of this that day. This was, what, a month ago? But you're still telling the same lie. And anybody that asks me about it, I say, my full name, Philip Schlicker, my full name, look that up, GoFundMe, Clarksville, boom, there it is. It's right there. Nothing being hidden here, guys. And you can see who did the donations and how much was donated. So telling people that I owe you six, $600 when I don't, especially when it's right there and obvious and anybody could literally pull up the site and see that you're lying. I just don't even know what to make of it. Because even pathological liars have a limit. But you are a fucking fraud. You are a freaking liar. And this isn't Phillips judging Katie. No, you lied. And it's a very obvious lie. It's literally right there on the web for anybody to find. But even after I've told you, stop lying, you're still doing it. Even after I debunked it, pulled up my GoFundMe, which I tell you what, I'll do it right now. How about that, guys? Because I can pull it up straight from my phone. Remember which folder I put it in since I haven't used this thing forever. And I will link it in the description below. I will link it. Please do not contribute anything. I don't need the funds anymore. Um, this is just, again, as a showing of evidence. But I don't need nor want any donations. But I'm just getting that out there. I am putting this up as evidence, and that's it. I have not asked for anything really since. I've been good. I thanked everybody that donated. And... Uh, even then, I generally don't like to ask for help very much. Especially not from her, because it's always something to hold over somebody's head later. But we'll get to that. We'll get to all that. So, I'm going to do exactly what I did in my live stream. This is my... Does that show properly? There we go. So there's my... And at the time, that's about how I was feeling. Um... Where's my contact? I put a con. Oh, my contact. Okay, so there's that. No comments. Donations. Here we go. So we're gonna go down the list. You can clearly see everybody that donated to me there. And let's see, where's Miss Katie at? Oh yeah, 100 right there for Miss Katie Smith. For Miss Katie Smith. This was the 100 that she didn't want back. And then we get up here. As you can see, for the most part, I thanked everybody. And then we get up to the very top, which is the 285 and the $20, which comes out to about 305 I thought it was 25 it was 20 excuse me. So it's 305 not 310 And I'll get more into that, too, because I found the conversation where she said, 
don't worry about paying it back. Actually, there's two different occasions she says that. And then later on, so she can have a reason to go to you guys and guilt trip and manipulate, especially emotionally manipulate, turn on the sympathy tears and say, oh, I'm being picked on. I did so much for this person and they're betraying me and all this other stuff. She went and told you guys that I owed, that I owed her $600. That is manipulative, it is a bold-faced lie, it is disgraceful, it is disrespectful. And she wonders why people don't like her very much that are used to her shit. I'm the one that stuck around over the course of years when nobody else would. And this is how she treats me? Be very careful of accepting anything from this lady because that altruism is completely fake. But as you can see, that is the donations. The first one was over the first month. The last one, the reason that it was such a high donation was because I waited until late in order to put up that second campaign. And the reason I waited that late was because I thought everything was squared away and I didn't want to have to bug anybody unless I absolutely had to. So that part of it in that case could be considered on me. Um, and she was all too eager to help, which is kind of weird in itself whenever it comes to her. But as you can see, guys, it's right here. It is right here. On the site. It is easy to see. Anybody can find this. So if you're just taking her damn word for it and you're believing the lies that she's telling, you need to take a step back and do some serious soul searching because she's fed you bullshit. And it, the only reason that she's doing it is to distract people from the fact that she keeps lying. She needs a fall guy. She needs a distraction, a way to cover her mess. And it ain't gonna be me, lady. I put up with you for a decade. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. And even then, I have warned you how many times? Most people ain't even gonna warn you. Most people ain't gonna warn you more than once. And I've warned you multiple times. Publicly, knock the shit off. But people keep showing up in my streams that are connected to you looking to start shit. I keep getting weird random messages from time to time. I mean, this, this shit's for the birds. And people close to me are getting strange text messages like, be careful who you talk to. You're putting stuff on your stream like, if you support people that don't support me, get out. What gives you the right to tell people what to do like that? You wonder why they call you a cult, and this is on your own damn Twitter. What gives you the bloody right? You're not that goddamn important. And you guys that are idolizing her, you've just been you been suckered. There's no other way to put it. You've been suckered, but don't feel too bad because I got suckered over the course of a decade and I should have seen this stuff coming a long time ago. You want to know how bad it is? I, I know the lol cows tend to get a lot of fun and stuff, but someone actually went up there and over the... Uh... uh over the course of this live stream, they went and just tallied things up. Like saying, I'm good at masking. Just like Onision with his, I can change my face whenever I want. You wonder why people are comparing Joy to Onision. Because the similarities are there. Emotional manipulation. Lying about things. Pathologically lying playing up their fans and then shit like I'm good at masking oh how about this one I need to share what I'm thinking so I'm going to release a new channel so it's without judgment so you're afraid of the critics but then you turn around and contradict yourself by putting it on all channels that you know your critics are watching that doesn't make sense or I have to get off because I'm weak that's emotional manipulation right there, especially when you don't really get off, you just keep on and keep on and keep on for, what was it, close to an hour? Maybe more? But you're so weak and you gotta get off, huh? And then you're announcing multiple vids on multiple channels. I, you barely have the energy to walk in the door. You can't drive, but you're making long distance drives. You don't understand that that's a contradiction. 
And then your sickness, because you told me multiple times, oh, fibro this and fibro that. You've blamed a lot of stuff on fibro brain. And in this live stream, you say, until I get to the doctor, I really don't know. So you were you knew and you were so sure that anybody questioning you was a hater that was just picking on you. And now you're saying, until I get to the doctor, I really don't know. This statement does not add up. You wonder why people criticize you. It is your own words. You do this to yourself. You can't blame people for criticizing you when you put that up and you get caught in a lie. So either you have fibro or you don't know. It doesn't connect. Those two statements do not match. They don't fit. And trying to say, oh, well, my virus was, it was cyclical, and now, or it was random, and now it's just in cycles. Lady, to my knowledge at least, there is no virus in human history that does that. You are not the one special snowflake like, that suddenly winds up with some random weird mystery illness that nobody knows about. And you would know about it if you got a genuine diagnosis. But you don't, you just go to the ER. What the hell do you think that's gonna do with for you? And then talking about eating nothing but pizzas and burgers to solidify stuff in your system. You don't know health very much, do you? That's like the worst thing to possibly put down in your system, especially if you're having digestion issues. All that grease is gonna really fuck you up. You you don't know. You you claim that like you pass try to pass yourself off as some sort of expert with law, with health. You are not an expert. You take from other people Miss Moral Authority, you know, stealing from others and lying about them, and hey, way to tell everybody I'm full of shit, but you keep using my words and phrases. You keep using my stuff. Okay? But I don't know what I'm talking about. Apparently I do, because you still keep using the same tactics. You keep using the same catchphrases like the come to your own conclusions and don't just take my word for it. That's all from me. That's stuff that I say on a regular basis on my streams. That's my stuff. Apparently I know what the hell I'm talking about because you keep using it. That you keep telling everyone I'm full of shit and don't realize how much of a contradiction that is. So let's see what the tally count was for that particular time. Um, when you were uh, telling them about how close you were to Texas and all that. Which, by the way, way to go revealing more personal information, but you're so worried about being doxxed and all this other shit. Apparently not, because you keep giving out information. Again, you do it to yourself, and you wonder, with everybody paying attention, why they find out information. It's not hard. They found one dude within like 5 or 10 minutes on it was either Reddit or 4chan, just by the direction that the wind was blowing on, his fl on the flag in his front yard. You think you're going to be the special exception, which speaks a lot about your ego. We'll get to that, too. So here was the Cali Cali count. Five contradictions, 17 emotional, uh, or 17 bullshit statements, 20 emotional manipulation attempts. 20. 20 times you tried to emotionally manipulate your audience. You know, it's nothing serious, it's just what professional scam artists do. Illness plugs, 17. We get it, you're sick, you can stop wearing it like it's a fucking brat, like it's a fucking badge. There, there's a difference between saying I'm sick and milking it every five seconds for everything it's worth so the audience will pity you. And you know what the fucked up thing is? You know, people complain about the lolcows, but a lot of them that are on there right now are people with the illnesses you describe. They're the ones criticizing you. They're saying, no, this doesn't add up. This doesn't add up. This doesn't add up. And some of them are even former fans. They're not butthurt. They're not jealous. You aren't telling the truth. And they're calling you out on it. Over and over and over again, they're calling you out on it. People that actually do have this stuff. Okay? And they're saying, this doesn't add up. What she's doing doesn't add up. These are the people that are saying things about your illness, and they're the ones getting sick of your shit. And that's your own fault. It's not the paranoid haters out to get you. It's not the Onision fans out to get you. I just had uh, a Twitter conver- uh, not a Twitter conver- yeah, a Twitter conversation with Jamie 
the the Jamie Fisher, and I told her very matter of factly what I think about her, which is that I don't really care for her very much, and it's fucked up because her versus you is like Joy versus Onision all over again. It's just a different set of circumstances, and I don't care if she likes it or not. The fact of the matter is that um, unfortunately she's full of it. And she just made it harder for people that have genuine criticism. And she's so stuck on her own obsession that she can't get past that. And I don't care whether she likes that or not. I've always been very blunt and to the point. If I like people, I say it and I say why. If I don't like people, I say it and I say why. You know, don't just come on, on in my neck of the woods and think you're just going to cozy up buddy-buddy and just because I don't like some person that I'm going to give you the time of day. Because it doesn't work that way. This isn't some high school snippy fest. This isn't some little click knitter, knittering back and forth. It doesn't work that way. If there's something that I see that's bullshit, I'm going to say it. Regardless of what side of the fence it's coming from. Okay? Whether it's Jamie, you, anybody else. Onision, I don't care. If people try to feed me a lie, I'm going to have something to say about it. If it's more lies like Joy is a meth head or something like that, yeah, I'm going to call it out and say that's bullshit. Just like when I say the thing with the monetary stuff is bullshit. There's no base to it whatsoever. And I've been around a decade enough to fucking know these things. Yes, I'm going to get heated. I will try to keep any cursing and swearing to a minimum. I will try. I've had to make a couple of videos before this one. And they just weren't pleasant. So I deleted them and I decided, whatever, I'll start over. So, um... And the cringe man, he, what the, the one dude's brother called you on it and said, she's in stage mode, you're acting, you're body language. And that's right, you are in stage mode. You are always acting. I don't think you're straight with anybody. But I think you do know very much what's going on. You do very much know what you are doing is wrong, and you know you are telling lies. You're caught in it enough that you know you are telling lies. And that's one live stream. One live stream. Just one. Just one. You could not play a drinking game with this shit. You would kill people with a drinking game with this shit. Okay? The inconsistency is the obvious lies, and then when you get caught, you decide to lie even more and even more and even more. And there are some things that I'm going to discuss here. Some things that need to be discussed. I'm going to lay down a little bit of context, because I've already spelled out that the law count, not the law count, the, um, I've already spelled out that the GoFundMe shit was obvious lying that anybody can literally find. So now I'm going to get into a little bit more context because I do have the screen caps regarding the conversations at that time. I also have the screen caps where she finally said, you know, tried to, to, to say something so that she could provoke more sympathy. Okay? I also have the screen caps of the day that I finally cut ties and said, look, I'm done. And I say flat out why. In fact, I say multiple times. And, uh, fair warning, I am very angry in that post because I don't like being lied to, and I don't like people trying to emotionally manipulate me, especially when they've tried it before, and it's the same stuff over again, and they throw it in my face and think I'm not going to see. When they insult my intelligence like that, then I'm going to be really upset. I would think after a decade that I would be owed a little bit more respect than that. But you're just going to lie to my face, and then you're just going to try and spin the situation and think, after a decade of knowing you inside and out, that... I'm not going to notice these things. I chapter and verse told you what Onision was going to do and how he was going to respond and called it right down the middle. And that was without even really knowing the guy. I've known you for a decade. Nice freaking try. Okay? And I defended you. I defended you to lol cows. I defended you multiple times to multiple people over the course of a decade. I helped you sort your shit out night after night after night after night over the course of a decade. And oh, Phil, you're such a good friend. You're such a good friend. You're such a good friend. And now 
this. It's funny how your tune changes when people call you out on your crap. And I don't know what is what is what is wrong with you. Usually when people warn you, that's when you stop. You don't keep going. But you are. You want to talk about karma? Well, fine. Here's your karma. Well, just one of many, anyway. The people that you keep telling are saying all of these bad things are going to happen to you, they're leading good, productive lives. They're actually just fine without you. The world does not revolve around you. The world does not really care, for the most part. It just is, and it was, and it will be long after, long before any of us were here, long after we're gone. And you need to get over yourself and come to terms with that. You find emotionally vulnerable people, you wrap them around your little finger, and you play these games. Ten decade, uh, uh, ten years is ten seconds too much. And again, it really, it's really telling that this is what you do to someone that you have known for a decade. So, um... One second here. So I have that conversation. And really, I get tired of people saying, like, oh, he's sitting on all this information. No, it took me several hours to put this stuff together in a format to where I can just pull it up and just slide by slide go through it all. So first I'm going to talk about a little bit of that. And I'm gonna, it's going to get long, guys. This is probably going to be a long video. I apologize. And... Uh, And this is going to get to this is going to be a long video. Some things can't really be tackled very quickly. So, we're going to start from the beginning. That's the thing that really gets me. Why does it have to be me that has to say this shit? By now, it is literally so obvious it is right in front of your faces. The lies are that obvious. Maybe it's obvious to me because I've been around for a decade, but when it's that obvious when she is saying stuff that is right in front of you, when she is doing this nasty behavior, treating people badly, you know, I there is a certain limit that you should allow. There's a certain point where you're like, hold on, this is not right. And there is a big difference between not wanting to see it and just enabling it. And right now, the biggest thing that she needs is not physical mental attention, it's medical, not medical mental attention, it's mental health attention. Away from the echo chambers, away from these people that are just fluffing up and posturing that ego. She needs psychological help. She's not going to get that the way things are now. In fact, regarding this video, all she's going to do is lie further, spin it some more, and claim that she's some poor, misaligned victim. You're not a victim. Cause and effect and the choices we make dictate the life we lead. If you don't want people to throw stones back at you, don't throw them at them in the first place. Knock the shit off. Really simple concept, but apparently really hard to grasp. So... set this aside here. I don't really need it right now. <sighs> so
So, as I said at the last time regarding the GoFundMe, and I'm going to bring this stuff up here. There are like 40-some slides of this stuff. Some pertaining to this, some pertaining to other things, and I'm going to go over each one. So I apologize in advance, this is going to be long. And then uh, from there, I'm going to finalize by showing you the last conversation that we had and that the conversation before that, or leading up to it, where I just finally call her out in her shit and I say, look, you need to treat people with more respect, and she wasn't having it. And the funny thing is, again, another obvious lie, she knows that I can pull up this conversation at any time and be like, no, here's exactly what I said, you didn't, it wasn't misconstrued, you tried to manipulate me and you screwed up. For somebody that, that, that believes in owning up to her shit, um, she never seems to really honestly do it. It's always a spin and it's always a game, but enough of that. So we're going to go, we're going to go live. I'm going to kind of move some things around here real quick so we can actually see. I'm dual monitoring. Hopefully you can see this all right. Here we go. So, this is me talking here. This is my words. Regarding, regarding the monetary issue, all I raised this time was about 15. And that's because I waited until late. So that's 285 on the whole left. So basically, my plan is this. Regarding repayment, since I have two months to play the, pay the landlord, and he's being incredibly nice. So there's another lie there. She said that she saved me from being homeless. No, I was working out something with the landlord to repay him. And it's right there in writing, so you know that she knows. So that's another obvious lie right there. Um, and he's being incredibly nice. I'll pay him off in increments once I get paid. And I said, you have no idea how rare that is, money and effort, that's kind of his thing. So he had me incredibly nervous. In the event the employment does, ki unemployment kicks in, I will split it between necessities, pay you and paying you back and paying him back. And then when the, fu when the funds actually come in, well, I'll have more work to, with their, I'll have more to work with there too. Otherwise, same plan, just more drawn out. I'm usually of the mindset that barring emergencies, the sooner it's repaid, the better. So in other words, I set this stuff up up front. I like to make everything upfront, obvious, and well-known with no, you know, possible misconceptions whatsoever. That is just a general, natural trait of my being. This is what I do. Okay, guys? So when people turn around and try to act like it's some big mystery, then you know that they're the ones that are lying their ass off. And it's not like I haven't warned them to stop lying. And since they won't, unfortunately, here they are. Or here we are. The reason I was asking you in the 7th is the 3 to 5 days for the GoFundMe to process and the phone will automatically hit the bank. That's bad. The, the phone being my phone line and such, because I was waiting on job interviews and updates and stuff like that. That was the purpose behind it, taking care of the phone and the storage so my stuff didn't wind up gone. I was trying to work out some stuff with the storage in the meantime, but the big one was the phone because it means that I can actually get an interview and uh, get stuff resolved quickly. And the quicker, the better, okay? So unfortunately, I'm still going to need help, it looks like. Again, I try to keep this, I, I, I tried not to push the issue until the last possible moment because I thought that I was in the clear, I thought everything was good, and I don't like to pester anybody. Everybody else has got enough crap as it is without dealing with any of mine. She did at one point decide, uh, ask me if I wanted to put stuff on her stream, and I felt really, I, it just something felt really off about it, so I said, no, I don't want to do this. Plus, you know, I figure that I can deal with whatever on my own to a certain extent. I'm not looking to beg from the crowd, and all I really care about is just enough to take care of whatever issues are going on. You know, it's not one of those, oh my god, you know, I need like as much as I can get my hands on. No, I only care so much as what deals with the issue on hand. And barring that, I'm not going to bother anybody any more than need be, because that's retarded. So let's move along. And then I said, okay, from the GoFundMe itself, there's a donate bit and it allows anonymous donations. I'm not sure how it works from there, just that it works. And I said, you're not being rude, it's just a busy day for anyone. Okay, go to your GoFundMe, you need 285. Yeah, you want me to say to send conf confirmation email. Nope, it just let me know, holy shit and thank you, and you know my plans for paying it back as I mentioned earlier. 
If unemployment goes through, it'll be quicker, but we'll see how that goes. It's okay, take care of you, and no problem, pay me back when you can. Don't overly stress over it. Again, no timetable, no big deal, no stress. You worry about you. But we're going to come to that part in a moment, because there's another part that goes on there where she flat out says, and I forgot about this part, where she actually said not to worry about it. If you can someday, then great. So, we'll move along. And this is where I wound up having a problem with GoFundMe, because they took out some... They took out their little pound of flesh, so I wound up needing 20 bucks, and so I said, well, shoot. And so I said, question, anybody, way I can ask for just 20 more, because that way it could account for, you know, what little bit I needed, and then just whatever they take out. And I say right here, the only reason is if I can take one detail that GoFundMe takes its share. It left me exactly five bucks shy of what I need, and I was really embarrassed because it really was a goof up on my part. As you see right there, I am embarrassed to ask it, you know, it was like, well, crap, what a mistake. Or not even, not even 20, but 10, just enough to cover on the nose. You'll still get paid the full amount given, of course. I just didn't expect them to take out that much. Yep, send it through GoFundMe. Yep, please. Really sorry to ask that. It was a big gaffer in my part, and if I hadn't looked, I wouldn't have caught it. And then I said, you know, just one step further, since I was doing a campaign, what the hell, I'll make you a magic item in it, or like a character, or something like that. Maybe something with an off chance of rainbows, Care Bears, and Confuse, Unicorns, something Bardic Musician class, because I was doing a Pathfinder campaign on the side that I was working on, and, again, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'll sweeten the deal, you know, some people that do Patreons and stuff, they add a little bit of something, like, here's what you get for your money! So I'm like, okay, I'll do something a little bit more cool on the side for that. And they said, done, don't worry about it, pay you back, and then, when you can, no stress. And I said, I'm aware, but still, I hate when random Murphys like that happen. Plus, it gives them an excuse to, to create more... It gives me an excuse to create more regarding the item, something not really gruesome, but hilarious or interesting. Since one player is going to be a bard, a fabulous one, yeah, that could be interesting. And, of course, and thank you. Because I prefer to thank people, and, again, all of this is legitimate. All of this is me talking to her. Which is her name right in the back there. It's not really a big surprise at that point, so... Now, this was the part that I forgot about. All is well. I know you hate asking for help. You're like me in that. Just relax, take care of you, get ready for your job. Relax, heal your adrenals. When you're all set up, I want you to do me a favor. Go get your health looked at inside and out by a good doc. Get on some supplements to heal your adrenals. I think you're worn out physically. It's just a loving psychic concern. Mind you, she doesn't believe in that stuff anymore, but she totally believes in that stuff. I think all the stress of X amount a year has been catching up. As you know, I know you know, it's time to draw your energy back in and take care of you. You've done enough for others in the world. I want you to focus on you and you get better. So here she's telling me, don't worry about it, focus on me. Okay? And keep, you, keep in mind, I'm like the Antichrist right now, but you've done enough for others and the world. Amazing how that changes once she gets criticized and she needs a fall guy. Ten years for that shit. And then, of course, the thing with her subs and all that stuff, which, of course, I celebrated with her because, hey, good job, all that stuff. Anybody hits a large amount of views, I'm definitely celebrating it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Once again. Okay, I'm going to send it through GoFundMe. This was one... This, I forgot about this video. Or not video, this... Uh, this was right before she did this, this, the asking about the anonymous stuff. Okay, I'm going to send it through GoFundMe. Just keep it private in case you do more videos. I'm not looking for payback or anything. If you can one day, great, but it's not about that. So maybe you'd like to explain why one day, why one moment you're not looking for payback, and then it's payback if you can. Funny how that changes. But again, false altruism. There is always a price tag attached. Now she's saying she had extreme asthma for two minutes, highly allergic to mold, gotten into it and then a virus, lungs have been shot, first day I'm kind of functioning, but my fibro was flared up for the first time, a, for a bit, for the first time in three weeks. Now everybody that currently has fibro is probably going to be saying, um, what the hell with that, but whatever. There's more than, it's to be expected, doing to be sick for two, went through three weeks with no autoimmune stuff, so it's a celebration, goddammit. Katie does not understand how autoimmune deficiency works. And regarding that comment about how it's a new thing, it's only been around since, oh, I don't know, AIDS virus? 
Just saying, people have had a lot of time to work through and work around autoimmune deficiency. There's a lot of stuff that they know, and you have to be really careful about getting sick because your body can't fight it. Even a small cold is a little deal. So we can tell that you don't have an autoimmune deficiency and that you were lying about that too because you have supposedly gotten sick numerous times and you're not on death's door. Whereas people that with autoimmune deficiencies that wind up with a minor cold, it can actually be lethal. They can wind up hospitalized for weeks. That is an autoimmune deficiency. So again, you are lying. And you are saying this for emotional reaction and for crowd sympathy. But we'll get into how you know how to do or to work that so well. So, let's see. So do me a favor with fibro, it can feel impossible to get shit done and I forget. Now this might sound a meeting, but if you don't get a payment from me tonight, can you please remind me tomorrow? It means fibro has taken over my brain and I'm drooling on myself. As far as I'm aware, as far as anybody that I've heard talk about fibro, I don't know whether that happens for the most part. And it's weird how your fibro brain always pops up in terms of selective memory. Brain fog is just not getting with it for the moment. It isn't selective memory. You really should learn how to find better excuses or not try to pander on to a crowd that is more educated than you are. Okay? I feel demeaned if someone's like, hey, help, if you don't remind me too, but that's the reality of what I live with sometimes, so it's not personal laziness. Now that I have a day of energy, I need to try and get my finances in order. Your finances are in order. You've been sitting on a 40k nest egg for a while. You don't need a Patreon. You don't have problems with money. Again, more sympathy. That's all it is. Well, actually, by now, it's probably, probably around 30k at worst. But, uh, considering that you've been smooching off of your roomie for a while now. And it couldn't be the fact that they called you out as being in Norman, Oklahoma, which congratulations on that for apparently giving that away. I don't know what the reasoning was on it, but uh, uh, they, 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 they managed to find that out about you, which could be why you've suddenly changed locations. But at least you won't be mooching off of one more person and they can finally get over you, I guess. I don't know. Now, there's something I want to talk to you about. Whether or not we do it today doesn't matter, but I've got some strong messages regarding your situation, and I'm not 100% sure exactly how to help, but there are things I feel the need to tell you. This is where Katie is trying to pass herself off as a psychic. She's been doing this since the days of indigo abuse, and to be honest, she's about as psychic as a corpse. She has no intuitive abilities whatsoever, and this is earlier, th this is this year, when she's saying that she doesn't do the angel stuff and that anymore, but that's exactly what this is. Something I want to talk to you about. I've got strong messages regarding your situation. Lady, you have been doing this since 2006. That is your tagline, to rope people along and get them, not really hyped, but sell them on whatever. It's to engage them and draw them into whatever sales pitch you're getting ready to throw at them. You have been doing that since 2006, and suddenly you're really surprised that Philip's gonna say, you know, you're full of it. You're not a psychic. Stop acting like you are. You don't know a damn thing about spirituality. All you know is what you got off of other people, me included, that you clung to and took from their experiences. And surprise, surprise, you do the exact same thing with the people around you that have illnesses. And it's funny how quickly your story changes to suit those people. You did it back then. You did it with indigo abuse trying to pass yourself off as a psychic and you're doing it now. It's the same situation, but different trappings. And for me, who sat through it, it's easy to spot. Anonymous will just tell me, but it won't reveal to the world other than Anonymous Donor. I'll likely be doing more vids at some point. Sure, can do that, and also thank you. It's highly appreciated. Now, the funny thing is, you were so keen on making it Anonymous, but you actually put your name on there. You actually put your name on there. So, I mean, I don't know what the big deal is. Again, you try and do these trying to be mysterious things, and then you do the complete opposite, and you wonder why people call you on it. Okay, again, I need your PayPal information, and I said I don't have pay PayPal, but I have a GoFundMe. This is when I was telling you about the GoFundMe, and all the stuff that was going on where I was sick, I was dealing with a stomach bun, 
bug, both roomies wound up at the ER, including people that I was going to do with the job ab stuff with, because I was looking for other work and I was going to do this job stuff that was going to pay off. And then he suddenly decided he wanted to become Captain Cuckoo. And then he wound up in the ER to boot, and then he flat out left. But not before he decides he's going to eat all my stuff up. Was not happy about that, up and down sort of week. And I said, landlord's been really nice. My cat's okay. It's one word down. My food is stored and still more or less holding. Illness, uh, lack of energy, stomach sickness, that sort of stuff, because I had a stomach flu. And then, again, back to the thing with the payback and so on, so you can see more context. So you can see she's saying, again, not looking for payback. But as you saw in the other ones, then her tune suddenly changed. So when that suddenly changed, then all of a sudden I was like, okay, well, this is what I plan to do. Oh, and as you can see, it showed the Joyce Sparkles BS was online in the background because she doesn't have, because I didn't block her. She actually doesn't have me blocked on uh, Skype, where I've messaged her before. But uh, she does have me blocked on Facebook, which the moment that I walked away, suddenly she went super paranoid and started telling people I was out to get her, and that's when I wound up blocked. So... Again obvious lies. So, moving along again. Here we go. Now, this is where we get into, you know, Phil never, Phil never really did anything for me and all that other stuff. He was just some random guy on the internet. And this is where we're going to see exactly where she learned how to manipulate people as far as the crowd that she currently does. And for that, guys, I will say I, I, I owe you all a sincere apology for that because I thought that I was legitimately helping someone for a good cause, not that I was just going to be helping someone to pad their ego and learn how to be a better manipulator. In that regard, I'm, I enabled her bullshit. So, I'm not going to make excuses for that. I did it. It is what it is, and for that, I am sincerely sorry. So, a beast of a different caliber, tread carefully. Oh, oh god. This, this one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I'm laughing because it keeps me from crying. So, her paranoia is a thing. It's always been a thing. This is December 31st, 2016. Oh, that's right. It was on New Year's Eve. That's right. She frequently bugged me at all hours of the night to help her sort out her crap. But I'm just some random guy on the internet. Sure, okay. Midnight. Are you awake? Hope you, hope you are. Can I call you? Sorry if you're busy. Onision made a video about me. Me specifically. Holy shit. Okay. Now we're gonna... So you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So she's paranoid. She thinks Onision's out to get her and all this other stuff. And I said, yeah, I'm awake, I'm about to run to the bathroom, so give me a moment. And I'm like, oh, did he? Link me. I'll check it out when I get back, but really, don't be surprised. This stuff gives him attention from the gullible. He's getting off of it anything, but I'll be right back before my bladder explodes. And I'm realizing it's midnight. Hopefully I'm not bothering you. Sorry. She says this constantly. She knows very damn well what time it is, and she always has. Call me when you're done. That number is no longer in service as far as I'm aware, so I don't think there's a big deal in kind of revealing it, because whatever. And if there is, I frankly don't care at this moment because she needs to stop lying. This is the shit that happens when you attack people over the internet. Wide awake, Night Owl. One moment, please. Bladder. He seems to make a lot of vids, but I'm not seeing anything that call you out specifically. There's one that said she lied to you. But keep in mind, there are a few she's that think he's gutter trash. Okay, I watched the video. It's not about me. So she was paranoid, and the real person that Onision was talking about was uh, Blair White, okay? And I said he seems to make a lot of vids in a day, much like somebody, hmm, Joy, but I'm not seeing they call you out any specifically. There's one that said she lied about you, but keep in mind, oh, that's not right, that was, I already read that. Let me tell you what, what happened. If you watch the vid, I'll send it to you. He says a YouTuber lied and doesn't want to say her name, but told the fans to go to her comment section and ream her. Well, his fans are idiots and went to me, some of them. <coughs> now, how is this any better, Joy, than what your fans do to anybody that criticizes you? He didn't send them specifically after you. 
He's got an echo chamber like you have an echo chamber, and both sets of fans have some serious soul-searching to do on why they have to cling to people that are so obvious of a liar. So again, more paranoia, and trying to downplay it. That's the one I saw. I went looking around to see if that was the case. It's disturbing that he's using his fans like a mob to unleash on a whim. Kind of like it's disturbing what you allow from your fans, even while in the same breath you tell them you don't support harassment. But they do it, constantly. And you don't support that, but they're still around, and they're some of the closest people to you. He calls the social justice warriors, look what he's doing, he's crazy. Did you see my channel recently? It's blowing up. He does it because it's a catchphrase. Ironic, really, he's a social justice warrior. Sorry for the freak out. Wasn't scared or hurt, but the initial shock made my adrenaline go up. This has nothing to do with shock or adrenaline, but again, backpedaling. His young fans are blowing up my page, and you're, again, this is where she's freaking out about it, but now she's like, this is funny. She enjoys this attention, guys. This is why people say that she's obsessed, and actually, yes, she is. And I said, this is why I said, be wary of YouTube. What, what, what would you have done if it were real? You need a thick skin to be able to handle this kind of stuff, and he's a hardcore offender type, a narcissistic sociopath that realized this gives him a profit margin. Think of it like going head-to-head -head with a cult leader. And I think this was 154 subs at that point. But again, I just kind of spelled this stuff out. And regarding her savings, because she always uses this as a point, and I said, take some of your leftover savings, because she's got enough of it, put it into a rollover account. That way, if you're going to sit on it, which she has been, at least it makes money for you while you're doing it. I'm going to be doing myself when I actually have more money, because a person at my former workplace did that and had 10 k before they knew it. She's always crying about this and that, and one minute she's saying she's not worried about money, the next minute she doesn't, she can't use the money, which is fucked up. She has more of it than most of us put together, okay? So that's a lie. And I tell her, take it, put it into a rollover account, make you some money, because if you're going to sit on it and never use it, at least make it work for you. And this is what I don't get. I'm some horrible person that is out to get her, but here I am trying to give her advice that's going to help her in the future. These things don't add up, and they're not consistent for someone that keeps claiming they're consistent. That's another lie. How many more do I need to call you out on? But apparently I just need to keep doing it, so fine, we'll play that game. Trying to draw the line of where karma starts, if that makes sense. Honestly, you don't understand karma. Okay, you don't. Um, so here we go. I said, how about do you and don't put up a mask? This is not the first time I say this. Don't put up a mask. In other words, be real. If you feel X, be X. If you feel Y, do that. Don't put up a front if you don't have to. Feel the flow, go with the gut flow, and get back the intuition over to running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Again, one of many times I tried to help her. There is just no saving a person from themselves. And we'll get on to the advice part too, because at some point you kind of realize real quickly but it's like, she keeps bothering me for this stuff, so I keep trying to, okay, you asked for it, here it goes. Agreed, we went, went back to the ER today. Doc told me, without hardly looking at me, it's anxiety, and I shot back, I guarantee you it's not, and that's not appropriate to say to someone. She keeps going to the ER for these diagnoses. And the doctors are telling her it's anxiety. Many of her critics are saying, there's a lot of stuff here that labels down flatly to anxiety. Okay? But, every, but we don't know what we're talking about. We're all haters that are just being inappropriate and picking on her because we don't understand her illness. Everybody magically doesn't understand, even the doctors. They're all just out to get her. Maybe they're not out to get you. Maybe they're just telling you what you don't want to hear and you have serious mental complications. Uh start focusing on stuff. Here we go. This ought to tell you a lot about what Joy's really about. And it says it right here. A lot of pen and anger from, from being sick, going through shit. Might as well dump it off the internet and try to create money off of it eventually. 
She told us that it was all about taking care of the gals, but the real goal is right here. And try to create money off of it eventually. There you go, guys. That's the reality of, of Miss Altruistic Joy. That's what she really cares about. It ain't about making money now. It's about roping enough of you suckers in so she can make money off of you eventually. And it's right here in your own words. And I know she'll claim that text can be misconstrued. It's always another excuse when she gets caught in a lie. And now she's saying, I want to promote peace positive, but I also want to say whatever the fuck I want. And again, this is the cell. Oh, I'm really about peace positive and all that stuff. Yeah, so was Chosen Ninja and he was a professional fraud on YouTube. Didn't work out well for him either. And I said, true again, but take savings, put, on, put it into a rollover account. Oh, here it is. It's just a body. It can't be helped right now. Another symptom of the bullshit I'm going through, so I'm not feeling joyful lately. But I realize in the situation... Okay, let's see here. Oh, here it is. This is what. This is why I was actually... This is what had, had me sold. As I've almost died, didn't stick with me during the time, I just want to educate people about how sociopaths, narcissists, birth control work, but I guess I don't want people to suffer like me, hence why I've made videos about Onision. I just want to help the young fans see through the BS. This, right here, was why I got involved. This is why I said, you know, I'll help wherever I can. And it's a pity that I didn't see through the shit sooner, because that does not add up with what she said prior about eventually making money. This is what I thought she was into, and once she got enough of a following, she quickly dropped that act. And it's become nothing but more about her, about her, about her ever since. And just lies on top of more lies on top of more lies. And I said, just be careful. Remember the bit about an indigo abuse. And sometimes those that smile hide their fangs. Or rather, there are plenty of fish in the sea, but sharks are also fish hungry ones. YouTube can become a toxic place very quickly. Before you dive headfirst into it, be careful of those waters. All of this, guys, I have tried to warn her about. But she's too good for anybody and everybody. She wonders why she has problems. It is her own fault. I know, right? That's been the concern since the beginning. And that's, oh, again, that's where I said Beast of a Different Caribou character, and that's where it goes into that previous thing, so I really don't need to get into that. I'm already eating up enough time as it is. Ah, we go back. I felt so bad. There was one girl on here, a nice talking, an Anisian fan, 13. I really don't know who to side with now because you are really nice. I had to explain to her that she doesn't have to pick one over the other and that people can agree and disagree and it's okay. How fucking awful he has these kids brainwashed. Which is really irony and a bit of hypocrisy at this point, because you know what? You want to talk about how awful that feels? I know, because that's how awful I have to feel every goddamn time one of your confused fans comes to me because I've known you for a decade and says, why is she lying? And wants me to explain you! I agree, how awful can a per- how, how freaking awful a person has those kids brainwashed. Because what rage range do you usually work with? Teens and young adults. Which you'll see me talk about that here too. And I say I don't really feel bad for the brainwash other than to educate them. I find that's when they stop talking. You can try to deprogram them, but reasoning is only going to continue and fuck that shit. At that point, you're either with the cult or you're a target of it. Kind of goes back to your tweet where you say, if you're, if you're supporting people that don't support me, get out. Doesn't it? Amazing! How you can learn so much, but learn nothing at all. So any niceties are manipulative to get you to let your guard down for the rest round. So I prefer to just shut that down before it starts. Which, in token, basically describes your entire act. Your niceties are manipulative to get people's guard down, and so you can get your hooks in. It's always been that way. Most of the niceness, mostly the niceness actually works for me, but there are a few that doesn't. I should have seen the red flag right there. That is how you survive on YouTube or a very public forum. Ultimately, though, it, it really doesn't. It only works on those that, can't see, that can see reason. They can't. These young shits are really wearing out my patience. Real joy revealed, folks.
she's not as nice as she seems. And she doesn't really view you very nicely. She'll just say that on camera, because, you know, otherwise, well, you might start asking more questions. Which is why my tactics work better in this case than yours. It's about using the right tactic for the right situation in the right circumstance. What you do would work out well for you, but this is a different environment that merely looks similar and will ultimately put you at a disadvantage, with you wind up when you, which will wind up being preyed on by similar opponents, who then pass the word along to the rest, turning your open forum very toxic very quickly. Which in this case was you doing it to your own damn forum. My delete game is going to get real strong. Yeah, kind of like you deleted the, the, the Constigo tweets. What was that you said about if you have to delete stuff that makes you a coward and what do you have to hide? Then maybe you, maybe you might wonder why your delete game is going to get real strong. It ain't about people you're protecting either. Because you ain't protecting shit. You don't really have anybody to, to, to protect. You're a liar. Thanks for the comment. They're getting funnier. One keeps saying awful things. Oh, I said forget the delete game. You have to be the one that gets them to delete you without lifting a finger and making it known. The Care Bear needs to develop teeth and learn and claws and learn the new way of the wilderness, especially if you're going to call people out on YouTube. Again, I'm trying to help her here because I'm thinking that this is what she's legitimately about. Boy, was I suckered in. And if a person that's, that's known them for 10 years can be suckered in like that, are you really going to tell me that you're going to be the special snowflake that's known her for a few months and that you're going to be any different? This is where you wake up, folks. And I said, yeah, I know, I don't have much tolerance for mob mentality. It's what I call the dark side of de democracy. When the majority is mindless, democracy becomes a moot point. Consider yourself lucky you can get used to this more without the heavier stuff. Cheers. Bear in mind, you are putting yourself out more public than you have ever previously. Heavier is coming. Learn from this now while you have the opportunity. You're right, that is a good exercise. I keep in mind all the... These are almost all children who don't want to know what the, why they're doing it, but it helps put it in perspective. Luckily, you don't. You have Tyrion Lannister and Speed Dial. That's what Carrie calls me. Hey, I drink root beer and I know things and fuck the rest. I'm trying to be helpful here. When my channel goes, would love to do a collab with you and just and let you just go, if you were ever interested. I'm so glad I never did a collab with her. I really am. I really am, especially seeing the way the other ones worked out. If that's the way it was going to go, shoot. I would have been just one more... One, one more of that bit with Constigo and stuff, which, again, I don't think Constigo is innocent in that matter. Sometimes there are sides where nobody is right, but I can clearly see when someone is making threats and then turns around and says that they're not, gets called on it, tries to blame it on an ad sign, but we'll cover that too. Why not, right? The knight is still young. So, I'm going to cover this little part in the next screen. Do not underestimate them because they're children. Mob mentality turns children to assassins of many flavors. They become exceptionally dangerous. A child at play can be ruthless. Then you make them a mob. Hmm, very true. In the old ways, that's who they sent. No one expects a child. They see innocence and are wide open, which is why I'm against this stuff. It robs them of that innocence. I'd consider it but I didn't have neither the tools or space for such. My house is poor suited for such. There's little better here, which is why it's just my webcam and no editing skills. This part here at the bottom being the collab. And I said I'd consider it, but I don't really have the tools or the space for it. Even now, I just got a mic not too long ago. On a steel, no less. Um, but again, as I've said before, I don't like people... My real berserk buttons are messing with kids especially child abuse and spousal abuse, whether it's male, female, or whatever. So this kind of thing where people use children, I am highly against that. And again, look at who she gets close to her. It's people that she can use mob mentality on. And hmm, very true. Gotcha, and you are correct. I don't see them as innocent, but it helps keep it in perspective. Again, She's learning from all of this, and I didn't realize it at the time, and I am so sorry. I am legitimately sorry. I did not realize that I was giving her the tools to be a better manipulator. So if you want to turn around and say I'm a piece of shit for doing that, you know what? I accept that. That's fine. 
that's I would even agree with you in that case because it isn't right that I went and enabled a freaking toxic toxic narcissist to be even more of a schmuck and I said plus a mob, a mob of children grows into an army of willing monsters they always get them while they're small Chosen Ninja is a good case study Greg Park similar nice guy facade supposed free martial arts he tried to pull similar cult tactics it was rumored he'd questionable bits with ladies but he wasn't as bold as Onision still similar tactics and demeanor and then Faith of Anti-Stupid had her Faith respond. That was somebody that was sipping the Kool-Aid for a new So let's move on. I had to send my lady a message real quick. Okay, this is Gold. She refused to respond to anything he said over the many comments she has left. I'm noting a number of tactics employed here. In fact, three in particular that suggest manipulation. Do you know of what I speak? In fact, almost 100% sure of that, sure that she is lying through her teeth on all three points. Which, this was, I was demonstrating how, how this person in the comments was being manipulative okay and as, and as usual whenever it comes to things I don't just say oh they're being manipulative I actually give a reasoning to back my words so when you turn around and say that I'm full of shit afterwards it's clear to me you didn't read a damn thing or you are so stuck on wanting to believe particular things and it's a red flag right off the bat that I'm dealing with someone that sipped the Kool-Aid a little bit too much I've dealt with people a lot and this is not the first time I've dealt with a narcissist okay I've dealt with it enough that things just stick out of my mind like red flags right off the bat, especially when they try their mind games. So I am literally the worst person in the world to try this stuff on. I am literally the worst person in the world between that and, and activism. I've seen all this stuff enough to actually comment on it in detail. And you think you're going to demonize me and get away with it, you think you're going to pathologically lie about me and get away with it, and you think that you're going to cover lies with more lies or attempt to spit, spin the situation, you're going to get away with it. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you at that point. Okay? So, I'm pretty sure that she is lying about through her teeth on all three points, which is why I'm careful about addressing them. I'm well aware about how the crowd control game is played. Okay, pop quiz. What three major tricks is she playing that she is lying about? You are testing me, Phil. I get it. I see right through shit, too. She really doesn't, but okay. The biggest one I see is that she's married. You're married about having your sister, sister respond for you. Of course, tons of deflecting, not addressing any points, mindlessly spewing propaganda, but I'm hoping you've seen other stuff. Always interested to learn something new. In this case, always learn, learn, trying to learn how to be a better manipulator, which is the trademark, the hallmark of a sociopath that tries to basically learn how to be a better manipulator and how to suit the crowd that they are manipulating. And I said, well, of course, if you're going to play the Game of Thrones, you need to learn the board, the pieces, and the mechanics. You need to see your opponent's mind and strategy before they know what they're going to do, get inside their head while keeping your own. Again, I'm trying to help here. Well, it's obvious she was lying about several things, because if she's really married into adults, she literally has brain development issues. But the earlier is mo most likely bitch is lying. I'm like, you got two out of three. Yes, married. Uh, in order to keep more mature, second bit came about the uncle implying sexual abuse, but speaking about it in a like-hearted manner, like, oh well, which is to get a person to call on it so they can scream that people are heartless. Doesn't that sound a lot like joy in her illness? Oh wait, yes it does. Wanting people to call you on it so you can scream that they're heartless. You do that every time it comes down to your illness. And then, let me blow this up a little bit more. The bit with the sister, which him sister is living with her as a married woman, not impossible, but highly unlikely. She's doing this deliberately to call me out and try to provoke the crowd with crocodile tears. Or in Katie's case, her depression videos, which always come when she's getting criticized. It's all a ruse, and not a very clever one. 
I'm making special emphasis on that, by the way. So my strategy then becomes to deflect that and refocus on the main point and to continue doing so. And you'll note it's taking her longer and longer to respond since she's not getting what she's looking for. Gee, doesn't that sound familiar? If they have a problem with it, press them to explain why, except nothing else. If they hate you, make them say why, and if they make accusations, force and press them to prove their nonsense or reveal themselves as a fraud and a brainwashed minion of a fraud. Hmm, imagine that. And you keep readdressing this. If you pay close attention to how certain Milo handles his tractors, for instance, you'll note similar there, and it's particularly effective. You also note that my responses to your haters, I have employed similar tactics on each occasion and flat out stated about as much. Indirect, it's direct to the point, forget about the sunshine, we're getting to the heart of the matter, and they either have an opinion or they have in someone else's. If they have an opinion of another, they are wasting, if they have an opinion that's basically coming from someone else and not their own, they're wasting my time in proving my point. Much like most of the fans that have ever tried to start shit about me regarding Katie slash Joy. They fall into the same basic thing right here, and they wonder why they being, they're left with their basically nothing to say, because they never had anything to begin with. They're just swept up in the crowd, and it should be a big wake-up call that they're just sipping the Kool-Aid at this point. They want to believe, and it's unhealthy. Okay, forgot to put it down here. Yes to play up and draw motions, take attention, make, the, make themselves a victim, so childish. Yeah, imagine that, it really is. Her objectives are to pick a fight, appear like the victim in some way, evoke sympathy, and emotionally distract anyone that reads the comment from any fact, actual fact or evidence. Which sums up the majority of Joy Sparkle's bullshits live streams. And many of her Twitters and many of her spins. That right there. Let me just kind of blow it up so you can easily see it. Pick a fight, appear like a victim, evoke sympathy, and emotionally distract anyone that reads the comment from any actual then she paints any naysayers as bullies and says she's the poor picked on victim. Again, who does that sound like? This is why kids and teens are employed for this, because they're good at emo getting an emotional response from the crowd, like the majority of her fans. Or in this case, people that are sick, because she counts on their projection to hide behind. They see her criticism as their criticism, and she exploits that. So she can hide behind it and then she gets the emotional response. So we don't give them what they want, take everything, leave nothing, reveal them for what they really are, and refocus on the facts and nothing but, which is what this is right now. If they have a problem with it, press them to explain why and accepting nothing less. If they hate you, make them say why, and so on. Well, again, more in detail. But again, this is all stuff that Joy herself does. So as you can see here, she took my words and decided to learn how to use them to be a better manipulator to manipulate you. That's right. Another sucker is born every minute, and you are her sucker. That's what she's done. And that, I, that, that's basically, this pulls back the curtain and shows you the real joy. Just like the Wizard of Oz, she is a very, very bad person. She's not like the freaking, she's not the, she, she's not Adolf Hitler, but she is not a good person. And she is a pathological liar that needs psychological help. Now, speaking of which, so you know that this is stuff that I've also said to her before, regarding her altruism, her fake altruism, she asked me about stuff, and I said, you know, she asked me if I was one of, if, if regarding certain people if I was one of the, if, if she was one of those that I had a problem with and that I thought was one of those that was just using people and I said to be fair and blunt yes you are one of those when you want something or need something only then do I largely do I exist you're not the only one by far but I've said it before how I do pay attention to these things I am at the point now where I'm tired of it if people will regard me in such a manner and act as if I'm only there for their personal inconvenience, my god, this spelling on my part, or are only there for as long as it's convenient for them or there's no one else around, then I'm not going to keep them around. It's false and it's taking away from my life rather than adding to it. So from here on, if that's how it winds up, I am not going to keep up appearances. I am going to do what everyone else largely likes to do and just walk away and be done with them. Simple as that. 
So you can't really turn around and say, Philip didn't warn her. Philip didn't warn Katie about this. Philip was very upfront right here with Katie and outright said, if this is what you do, I'm done with you. I am not putting up with, with your crap. And that I do recognize that you are one of those types of people. Even then, even saying this, okay? Even saying all of this, I still gave you another chance. And this is the shit that I got for it. You want to talk about traitors? Look in the goddamn mirror. There's your traitor. No worries, I do understand. In other words, I'm not just blowing smoke. She does understand where I'm coming from. And then I'm here if needed, and I rarely know what's happening in your life, and I've become such a hermit, I don't talk to almost anyone but Amanda, to be honest. Because, like I said before, she burned everybody else that was close to her with this exact same shit. It is her own goddamn fault. But it's always somebody else's fault. She needs help. I don't want to be inspiring anyone, that feeling anyone, since you have been such a great friend and person. I'm such a great friend and such a great person, but she routinely demonizes me. Again, this is the shit that I was talking about right here. Okay? Right here. When you want something or need something, only largely to then did I exist. You're not... Eh. That is the only time. Only there for personal convenience. Only there as long as it's convenient for them or there's no one else around or you can get something out of, out of it. And I said, it's false. You, Katie Marie Smith, are false. You are a pathological liar. This is not slandering or defaming you. This is shit that I told you about. You did understand. So you can't say that it was a misconception. You did not misread my words. You knew. It was set up from the get-go. I, a matter of factly, set all expectations from the get-go. And you screwed up. And I gave you one chance too many. You weren't the one maligned. You maligned others. And that's why you were so alone. That and no other reason. It is your own damn fault. But you're always so paranoid. It's Philip's out to get you. Onision's out to get you. The lol cows are out to get you. With ammunition, you keep giving them. And just like before, you burned everybody close to you. You just think you can hide behind your echo chamber. But it's over. This, this bullshit is over and done with. And I am done with you. So let's talk about this. Because I multiple times I've told you to actually get a legitimate diagnosis. And you went with all these weird little miracle cures. Four other natural cures in my back pocket. pocket oxygen done in a week. And a half. If that didn't cure it, next is my atomic gold. Then coffee enemas. Miracle mineral solution, geolites. Oh god, steer clear of the coffee enemas. I've heard of people sort of really messing our people up. And again, guys, for the last decade, I've been the one keeping the crazy train from going off the fucking cliff. I tried, okay? And here I am trying again. Steer clear of this shit. It's not gonna help you. But I'm such a, a horrible person? Really? I'm so out to get you? I tried nothing but helping you! Give it a rest! Paranoid freak? I've done my research. Fun fact, Katie never really ever does her research. Other people do her research for her. If my body is caffeine resistant to the... So, see, my body is caffeine resistant too, so I wonder if that would be good for me, it would backfire. But she's done her research, folks, not even realizing that and this do not work out well. It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. There's no logistic or reason to it. There's no logic or reason to it. It just doesn't make sense. And I said, you're also in panic mode. You need to get a real diagnosis at some point before you wind up with huge problems. 
And I don't know if this has a timestamp on it, because this was earlier this year. Well, not this year. This was uh, right around last year. Okay. And speaking of Amanda, this is what wound up happening to her. The social, she went crazy social justice war, which that was kind of fucked up. But she goes, I think she lost her job. She deleted her Facebook account. And you were right. Anything you do and go to extreme with becomes an ego, demonic-filled round of BS. But again, she doesn't believe in the spiritual stuff, folks. Except that she's lying, and she does. It's just convenient for her audience. I think she deleted her account because she lost her job and is embarrassed because without me, she doesn't know how to get other work. I want you to pay attention to this, folks. Because without me, she doesn't know how to get other work. You are not that important. Okay? You are not that important. Someone's life does not revolve around you, and that statement right there is a huge red flag of a toxic narcissist. Believing it all revolves around you, it doesn't. You're screwed up in the head. I made her life in KC what it was, and I have no shame in saying in saying it. She sustained it and did the hard work, but I paved her way and opened every door. I'll never do that again. Again, this is why you should be careful of anything that she gives you. She sets it up so she can do that later. It's always, she's the great one that, that did this, and she's so much, she's so wonderful, and nobody could do anything without her. You're wrong. Plenty of people live plenty of good lives without you. Your exes did every last one of them. And you swore the same thing, that they couldn't get around without you. Well, guess what? You were wrong. They did just fine without you. And I don't know what's going on with Amanda, and quite frankly, I don't care. But this whole, without you, doesn't know how to get work, that is incredibly narcissistic. And you're full of shit. Especially with the kind of work advice that you give. And we'll get into that, too, speaking of your help. And I said, I haven't spoken a word to her since the blowout. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. And this is how I feel generally involving advice. So the whole thing about me being butthurt about it, no. I legitimately tried to help you because you kept telling me that you were going through this, that, and the third thing, and I felt sorry for you. I no longer feel sorry for you or any of your manipulative games. You can give every person every opportunity and even set them up for life, but if they can't maintain it, it's going to crumble and burn. So, let's talk about that resume. Because once upon a time I was trying to get resume help because I was having an issue with job stuff. And this was way back in 2012. 2012. And admittedly, my resume sucked. That's why I went for help. Because I was aware how much it sucked. Like, really. It was, a, it was really crappy. So I wanted to, to plug people's brains and kind of see um, what was going on. And I said, okay, be right back and so on. And I said, don't answer. If you don't answer, I passed out every time very tired uh, don't I think you'll like it also you can change things around if you want it was the best I found to make it easy on you and having to explain the rest to people hey man I said and then again this is midday October 2012 nearly almost almost November sometime tonight I need you to go over your resume did you look at it what do you think and I said you seem to have passed out yeah I looked at it I still have it up even and this is where it gets kind of freaky but I said okay what do you think so far I made it very easy for you to explain to employers. Once we go over it, it'll be a breeze. Whatever you do, make sure to, you, to explain you were either a manager or assistant manager of your departments at Publix, etc. And the other place. Keep in mind, she is telling me to lie to people here. She has no problem with lying, and she is telling me to boldface lie. And I said, no offense, but there is little in here that is actually me. And some of the stuff here could be easily checked. Again, I want you to note this. This is 2012, and we're talking about pathological lying. Things that can be easily checked and found to be a lie. Okay? Some of this could be easily checked and wouldn't fly. The college stuff, the stuff with Publix and Kroger especially, especially, they definitely check. No, don't put reference on there. Don't ever talk about a gap employment. And I said, Katie, if I hand that resume in, it's not going to get me a job, but I do agree about any gaps in employment. And here's where we get to the fun stuff. I think this continues on the next, so I'll kick it over there. I've worked all over the country, and they never check if you do a good interview, or worst case scenario, they don't hire you. 
I've hired people, I've been on the other end, I know a lot of this works. You don't have to use it, it's up to you. But the one you had before most certainly won't get you hired, you need to impress them. It's up to you, man, to get the jobs. You have to learn how to bullshit unapologetically. Again, this is the real Katie here. Unapologetically bullshitting. She demonstrated this back as far as 20, you know, even in, you know, 2012. Okay? Bullshit unapologetically. She has no problems lying to you. She will do it with a straight face, and she'll just say it sucks, but it's what you have to do. And I said, here they tend to check the resume first, and then set up an interview. Publix is looking for a reason to give me a hard time. That's where if they need a reference, you give them my number. I'm serious, if they ever check references, they only check one, the top one, which will be mine. This is actually fraud right here, guys. She is telling me to commit fraud. You're being too good a guy about this, and you're thinking about it way too hard. You have to sell yourself in 10 years. I think my resume has been checked twice because I gave a stellar interview. And I said, yeah, for the other stuff, sure, but this kind of stuff snowballs and fast. Tennessee is kind of weird about things and employers talk. The resume is one big lie. If you convince them to hire you, they'll do so. It is, but it is so she knows it's a lie, but it's so we can get your foot in the door. Then we build you up from there. It's up to you. I'm telling you, I can get a job anywhere I want. I've done it before. So she's insinuating that she's actually lied like this before. So I know what I'm doing here, but it's up to you. If you don't learn how to present this shit the right way without fear, it will be difficult to ever get hired. I want you to pay attention to this. If you don't learn how to present this shit the right way without fear, in other words, she knows how to manipulate an audience. She has no problem lying to you. You are her sucker. She doesn't care. Okay? She does not care. And she says, if you don't present the shit the right way without fear, it will be difficult to ever get hired. Your resume looks pathetic as it stands, which it honestly did, to be honest. It's not to diss you. I'm telling you with employers thinking they want to be impressed, see if you can handle management. They want to feel they are hiring someone they don't have to check up on or check references, so think of it as sales. In other words, she has no problem conning or manipulating people. That's exactly what this is. You are making a sales presentation, but you have to make it bullshit and flowery to make them sign on to hire you. As long as you go in there and learn on your feet and get the job done, you, you will be fine. Okay? So why do I bring that up? Because it shows you very quickly what she really is. What she does to her audience. Okay? It is, you're nothing more than a sales presentation. And all she has to do is make it bullshit and flowery, or sparkles and bullshit. It is literally right in your face, people. And then make it so that, that they will basically, so you will sign on and buy whatever she's selling. Which is nothing right now. But you've certainly liked to pressure her a lot into uh, doing the Patreon thing lately, haven't you? If she does it, she'll get criticism. But if she can manipulate you to persuade her to persuade her to do it, then she's in the clear. And she's making money off of you because of her bullshit and flowery sales presentation. That's all this is. She is lying to you. And has been. And I said, I appreciate this, but I can't use it. My gut is giving me all sorts of alarm bells, shaking me by the back and practically yelling at me, this will come back to bite you. I have to respectfully decline. A sales presentation is one thing, but an honest salesman gets better results than window dressing alone. Looking around, the results are the same where, same elsewhere. If you embellish too much, or a lot even, it will come back to bite you. You will get fired. It will follow you around, especially here. Okay, it's up to you. Do whatever you feel is right. She didn't really like it very much that I didn't just fawn and feign and, you know, shower her with praise for this. But that actual resume, from start to finish, it was one big lie. <coughs> there was no part of it that was actually true, except for my name, phone number, and an email address. That was it. But again, this you want to talk about the difference, the real difference between me and Katie? You want to talk this demonization bullshit? This right here is the difference between me and Katie. A sales presentation is one thing, but an honest salesman gets better results than window dressing alone. I prefer to just be me. I have been that from the very start. I am still that now. 
I don't play around with the flowery bullshit. I don't play around with this nonsense. But I will call it out without a shadow of a doubt, without missing a beat. You, Katie, you have known this in the entire decade you have known me, and I have never hesitated to do so. I only hesitated in your case because I have known you for 10 years, and I felt sorry for you, and I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, even after you screwed yourself over. But you lied. You wholeheartedly lied. So fine, here it is. You want to be paranoid? Well, here's the reality of your delusional paranoia and your, your delusional paranoid fantasies, okay? You are not what you claim to be. And you have no problem lying to people. As is demonstrated in these messages. Okay? You have no problem lying to people. And you don't even care about it. It's demonstrated there. You don't care. It's all about how you look in the end and what you can get out of it. Which is exactly what I called you out on when I do actually called you out on it a few slides back. You know? You just don't care. It's all about you. And now you try to, to pass it off. No, I don't think you are, are being, you know... I said, I, I'm not trying to come off... Trying to be or come off disrespectful. I appreciate your time and effort. This isn't going to work, but thank you anyway. I respectfully declined. And then, of course, I know you're being respectful. Sorry I couldn't be more help. I think if you had let me explain what it means, it would make you feel better, but it's all good. Again, you're trying to... This here is gaslighting, it's manipulative phrasing. Okay, if you would let me explain what it all means. You're trying to tell me that I don't understand what is right in front of my face. In order for you to get what you want and to be praised. This is manipulative phrasing, and it is your own words. I did not type these out in some goddamn program. It's your words. Okay? Nobody's misunderstanding anything. Nobody is just judging you. You did this. It's not anybody playing with your words or twisting your words either before you start that shit. And I know you will because you like to spin everything. Well, this is where the games stop. At least as regards with you starting shit with me, you're going to have to find someone else to be your distraction. And then, of course, I just care about you and want you to be able to have what you need, you know? So you just do what feels is right and pray something works out for you. Whilst to some this may seem like it's altruism, when we get with the back part here with the manipulative phrasing, it goes in from manipulation into the guilt trip, which is another manipulator's tactic. Okay? So one manipulation to another and give me my way. And you didn't get your way. Because I turned around and said, no, I'm not using this. I am not going to shoot myself in the back just so you can get yourself a pat in the back. And you weren't happy with that, but whatever, I don't care. Moving along. Oh, looks like we're almost done with most of these vids. Speaking of being caught in lies. So, the Constigo stuff. Again, I don't think the Constigo is, any, is innocent by any means. None whatsoever. But, when someone says that uh, they didn't, they never did anything, they never threatened legal action against Constigo. And here we have, I mean, it's right here in your own words, but please feel free to explain it away. At Consigo, she wants to argue I'm happy to take legal action or action on YouTube. I've been nice on it, but now I'm done being nice. Which, as far as I saw last, you actually deleted that tweet, which is where we get back to you saying to people um, that if they delete things, that they're cowardly and they're trying to hide something. Well, then why are you trying to hide it, other than the fact that it makes you look bad, and rightfully so? Other than it catches you in another lie and points out that you are a pathological liar with no remorse whatsoever. That any remorse or good vibes is nothing more than a mask, a front you put onto the community. Okay. So, and again, re further replies, Constigo, Constigo, Constigo. And she tried to tell everybody in her live stream that it was an at sign. As you can see, there is more context there than just an at sign. That's what she was called out on. And she turns around and she covers it up saying, you aren't really wanting to start a conversation about this, correct? You just want to think you know it all and hurl insults. That right there is gaslighting, trying to tell people they don't know what is literally right in front of their face. And she wasn't putting anything, wasn't uh, putting up with it and says, you really aren't wanting to own up to your own words, correct? Gee, imagine that. 
You just want to wriggle out of what you said without explanation, right? By the way, way to call her out on that, because that's amazing. Um, and then she turned around and said, if you're 17 and decide to steal someone's material while calling them a con artist, that makes you a huge bitch, case closed. So she didn't address it, she wrote it off and tried to throw something up there for, again, emotional appeal. This wasn't even directed at Chain Handler. It was directed at her audience. So she can play to mob appeal and get the mob riled up so they'll come and defend her and she can hide behind her echo chamber. All of this tactics that, that toxic narcissists use and social and emotional manipulators use. How do I know all this stuff? I've only dealt with them for years, over and over and over again. After a while, you become very well-versed in their tactics. And as you saw earlier, I even spelled stuff out to them, okay? So, she turns around, if you run around insulting minors instead of handling the situation like an adult, that makes you look pretty pathetic, case closed. And then she turns around and, and tries to cover it up again. If you run around judging situations and hurling insults on shit you don't know, while defending thieves, that makes you sad, case closed. So she tried to be cute and snarky. But as you can see here again, shit you don't, trying to tell people they don't know shit about things that they literally posted with their own words, gaslighting, run around judging situations, that's crowd manipulation, hurling insults, that's trying to play the victim, and appeal to audience. All of these, again, manipulative tactics. I don't know if you can see that properly, so I'm going to try and... And again, as far as I was aware, unless, it, unless I missed it, she went and deleted that from her, tweeter, from her, her Twitter. So, you, you kind of wonder why people call you out in your shit. And then when people got so upset about your garbage, and they said, you were making yourself look mentally unstable, they said, this is really pathetic. What did you do? You went on live stream, you told them it was a misconception with people just judging you, that nobody knew what they were talking about, and then you blamed an at sign for this. For this. Okay? You can see it clear as day, and that's your words. Okay? But you blamed an at sign. That is pathological lying. Again. Dead to rights. You lied, you tried to cover it up, and then you tried to cover it up with more lies, and when that didn't work, I already listed, just now, how many times you tried to manipulate not just the person you were talking to, but the audience so that they would come to save your bacon, because you screwed up. And then you tried to blame it on stress and illness and all that. That has nothing to do with that. That is your attitude when you get caught. That's the real Katie. And then... turn around and said, another, we have another case. In regards to legal stuff, you are lost, but that's okay. You just want a place to hurl insults instead of get perspective, so be it good luck. Again, gaslighting. Trying to tell the people they don't know what the hell they're talking about. And Katie does not know a damn thing about law. She never really has. She gets her information from other people. Okay? And if she knew enough about law, she would also know that lawyers cost quite a pretty penny, so if you have enough money to threaten legal action on a 17-year-old, you have enough money to actually get a legitimate diagnosis with a good doctor and stop making shit up to appeal to crowd sympathy. Okay, you're welcome to think that. I guarantee you I have more legal perspective than you do, but you're the one with something to prove. Okay, what am I legally upset about? What happened? Because you obviously know it all. Please tell me. That's right, I have no idea. Just being rude. And again, you're getting sarcastic and you're showing your true colors. You're being a jerk. I was commenting on you threatening legal action against a 17-year-old, which you did. And now, I want you to keep in mind, I can't really, there's no way to kind of hide this. Keep in mind, in the slide beforehand, we see that she did threaten it. But now she's turning around and saying, you don't know that, but keep wait, write, judging and writing me, keep wasting your time with your judgments. She just got nasty here and got all bold and basically yelling at this person for calling her out on her crap. And she tells people on the stream all the time, if you see me doing something, call me out on it. But this person just did, and this was the response she got. Again, telling her she doesn't know what's right in front of her face. Telling her she's just making judgments. And I want you to pay attention to this, because when we get to the end and I show you 
the conversation that I had with her and the time that I walked, and at that point where I walked, you're going to see this exact same thing pop up. So this establishes a pattern. And it showcases we have someone who is really abusive, narcissistic, and manipulative. And she doesn't give a shit about anybody but herself, really. She got caught in a lie, and this is how she reacts. Just like most narcissists do. Narcissists hate facts. They hate actual truth. They want something they can spin. They want a lie that they can hide behind. Well, I'm sorry, you've told too many of them. And I warned you. I warned you at least five different times that if you were going to keep starting shit, that I was going to settle it. Well, fine. No matter, there is no spin that's going to cover your own damn words. And this is what I'm using, Katie. Your own words are coming back to bite you now. You did it to yourself. It ain't a matter of picking the wrong friends. It's a matter of never really being a friend and using people for your own designs. We are not players in a game, okay? We are not pieces to be played and manipulated. You need psychological help. So let's see. Oh, and then more. And then again, I have every right to strike that video and get it removed. Stealing is illegal. And that's not what I was referring to, but keep talking. So now she's trying to say that wasn't what she was referring to, even though, hello, we just saw that is exactly what she was referring to. And now she's trying to act like she doesn't know what this person's talking about, even though they said exactly what it was, they showed it, evidence, from her own words, and say she doesn't know what she's talking about. Guys, for those of you doing a tally, and you may have to rewind a little bit and start from the beginning of that, how many times now in this particular instance alone has she been caught in a lie? And like any pathological liar, she keeps lying. She keeps trying to manipulate the situation and act like she's being judged and picked on. Oppression Olympics at work, folks. And speaking of altruism, this just happened fairly recently. A guy tried to write wood to her to, to get something to save somebody's life, apparently, and goes, all I get is a like on a mention that's asking you to save a girl's life. I believe you want to change the world. To be patient, persistent with someone you want to converse with would be happy to help, but you have to remember I'm a human being, too. Which translates to, if you don't basically give her enough attention, she doesn't give two shits about you. And many of her fans are saying the same thing. And he says, you must be kidding me. First of all, you never replied to my email. Secondly, all I ask for is a retweet to save a life. You could have at least read the tweet, and retweet could have helped gain attention for a girl who most likely will be killed in an hour, but thanks anyway. But this is Miss Altruism that cares about the entire world. If it's really such a big is it really such a big deal just to retweet? You have multiple fans. Is it really that big of a deal? No, it's not. And I'm sure you'll have an excuse for that, too, because you always do. But the fact of the matter is, if they, she doesn't get enough praise, she's just not interested. That's the reality. She doesn't care about you. She never did. It's all about so she can rope enough people in so she can eventually make money off of them. Which was already stated well back in this video in her own words. Sorry for you that, goes, that have to go back and deal with this again. But And now if we end this particular... you want to say vid? Okay, that's... With this thing. For people asking me why... Again, these are people replying to her tweets and saying, you need to take at least three days off and read a book or something. You are losing it. Other people are telling her to snap out of it. So it ain't just me saying this. And underneath, when you attack people on the internet for whatever reason, chances are most likely you are going to get attacked back. It's life. And that face basically says it all. And it sums it up. So don't be mystified as to why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because you have attacked me way too many times and I have given you enough of a grace period I have given you enough grace on it and I have flat out warned you publicly stop talking shit about me and stop lying stop how many times does a person have to say it before it gets through your head so <sighs> so that was a nice little uh, hour, it says hour and 39 minutes oh my god I am so sorry um, that you've had to sit through this bullshit. Just imagine what it's like to go through it for like a decade. Okay? And I don't like doing these things like this. I don't even like doing this video. 
but people keep bugging me about it, and they're like, well, if you're going to say that you're tired of this shit, proof. Prove that what she's saying is a lie. And I already did this in live stream, but fine, okay. If I really have to spill it out for the people that are sipping the Kool-Aid, the people that just want to write something off, then fine, you're going to know a lot more than you ever really bargained for. So, I, if you didn't, I mean, I hope you caught this stuff, but we'll see. So, uh, it almost feels like a cathartic, cathartic sort of release in a way. At the same time, it draws a lot of emotions because there was a lot of stuff that was going on around right that time. If you think you, got, you if you think you feel bad about the concept, a concept that somebody that you've known for months and has put on such a bright, smiling face has actually turned out to be a lie, imagine how I'm sitting right now realizing that the person that I've known for 10 years and tried to help is a complete liar and that has just basically been manipulating me for her own purposes the entire time just to have a, a, a figure of authority to turn around and say, see, he backs me to give her credibility and I did I have been on I was on a couple of her YouNow streams she was on at least one or two of mine I made a video saying, you know, join the law cows and stuff, saying that the law cows were full of stuff, uh, full of crap for the most part, although some of them had legitimate criticism. Lately, it's like she, Katie, has gone out of her way to prove them right. And uh, the, the, the crowd in law cow really has changed too, because they're arguing, whenever they put stuff up, they have a reasoning behind it. And, uh... There's like three different threads now. She tried to send people in there to muck up the thread to cover her tracks again. She's really trying to hide stuff. It's really kind of uh, screwed up, but what else is new? And as you'll see in here, I'm, you'll see some of that where I was still defending her and stuff. And so to be told that I am against her and all this other stuff, she's against her. I'm just sick of her shit. And I'm just sick of her paranoid delusions pulling in the people that are close to her and getting them hurt because she does wants to blame everybody else but herself this was eventually coming not with me but just her own actions in general and quite frankly it's kind of fucked up that I need to be the one to say anything to begin with and there are people that have brought, brought it up to me and, and speculated to me that the only reason she keeps doing this is she wants a video just like this so she can run to her fans and say Oh, Philip is picking on me. Oh, I'm being victimized. I'm being defamed. You're not. You're not. But I, there is a point where I have warned you just way too much. And these sick little control games where you think that you can kind of make me tiptoe around your ego because you might do that are over. You have no control over me. Your sick little control fetish, you need help for that is why people aren't close to you anymore. You have a few people now, but they're just the ones that hang on your every word. You tried this shit on Facebook before. It didn't work out very well. You tried this shit on Indigo Abuse. It didn't work out very well. Only that time, you were trying to pass yourself off as a psychic. Now you're just trying to pass yourself as, an Ill, as ill. And you claim you have all this proof, but you're always the one dragging it out. I think you really are feeding off the attention. And that's why I'm just saying it and being done with it. Because after that, all I have to do is link them to this video and say, no, she's a pathological liar. And she has lied about me way too many times. Here you go. Here's the video. Now leave me alone. And it's that simple. I don't have to go into long-winded explanations. I don't have to go into details. I don't have to reopen or walk down a memory lane on a street that I don't want to, to go back down. I can slam the door shut on that decade and be done with it altogether. And I'm sure you'll have plenty of excuses to say you always do, but I've proven you multiple times to be a pathological liar with no remorse in this very video using nothing more than your words. Your words, your conversations. Okay? Come. 
the interviews to humanize the people that Onision demonized, including Eugenia and such, you got that you got that inspiration from me. I helped you with that. Other people helped you make those contacts. Contacts. All of which you burned. You wouldn't even gotten a foot in the door with that if not for them, and you treated them like shit too. You've done all of this stuff to yourself, and you don't realize the people that you are burning even right now. And some of them have a lot more pull and a lot more influence than me or you or both of us put together. You've screwed over a lot of people, and the people that are paying attention right now, it doesn't matter how many YouTubers you schmooze up to. They've known you for months. I've known you for a decade. You're the one that set me up as an authority figure. You can't go back on that now. And I have your own words to back me up on that as I've displayed. I have your own words that show me trying to help you time and time and time and time again. So you can drop the facade of Phil is out to get me because Phil was the one person on your side and that changed when you slammed the door in his face and treated him like shit. You burned the one person that was legitimately on your side. I am not actively against you. You do a better job of that than anybody, me included, could ever hope to. If anything, I was the barrier keeping the crazy train on the rails and off the side of the cliff. That barrier is no longer gone you have no one to blame but yourself for all the criticism you are bringing to yourself. And there is nothing you will say that will change that because actions speak louder than words and the choices we make dictate the life that we lead. Enough is enough. Get the help you need. Get away from the echo chambers, seek legitimate mental help. And leave me the fuck alone. Because I'm over it. I'm over you, I'm done with you, and I really am done with all of this. Again, with this video, I can just link people that ask me questions and be like, there you go. Done. And then I just walk away. I don't have time for your drama. I don't have time for your bullshit. I've already devoted way too many hours just putting this video together that I shouldn't have had to put together because you won't stop lying about me. And it's not even, these are not even, you know, new lies. These are old lies that keep being told. Very obvious lies that can be easily disproven. Just like the resume, just like the stuff with the GoFundMe, all this stuff, very stuff that can be easily disproven. I almost wonder if you want to be caught. If you want finally people to just call you, to, to finally catch you in a way that you can't wriggle out of so you finally are forced to seek the mental help you need. Maybe this is like some internal cry for help. I don't know. I legitimately hope you get the help you need. People ask me if I see this like some sort of a war or if there's going to be some sort of a victory. There is no victory in this. Nobody wins in this. Everybody loses. Everybody, especially the people that are close to you. They're the ones that lose the most. It sucks the most to be them. And I care more about them than you do. Have from the very beginning. That's why I backed you at first, and that's why I had to back away. But, we've come to that point now. And again, like I said at the very beginning of this video, what I'm about to show you at some point is going to get really angry. Because at some point when some people prefer to start shit with me in certain ways, it's like... Being an, being an OCD person in a room full of paintings and one of them is super glued crooked, it starts to really irritate you until finally you just can't handle it anymore. So some of the stuff on here is about to be angry. And if it paints me in a bad light, then fine, I probably deserve that. I'm not going to tell you there's any kind of a moral high ground in any of this, because I really don't think that there is. At this point, considering the lies that keep being told, there is just no other better way to handle this. 
I did spell out though that as far as concerned, she did backpedal on a lot of things, so I don't owe her and then I do owe her and then she wants it so that she has something to use. But uh, I'm glad I did get, th I'm glad I did save those conversations um, so I can spell out and defend fully clear my name that hey, actually no, she said don't worry about it. It's all good though. It's all good. All this happens for a reason. I have to keep telling myself that. So, there we go. Here's me closing the door on this. We are going to get into that. I can't really blow this one up, so I apologize. I'm going to try and move this back a little bit so that I can get some good mic, because this mic can be a little weird. Can you see it? Okay, that should be enough to get both. I don't know if that actually... I don't know if that It's acting like it's still recording, but it's not. Is it still going? Okay, it is still going. It switched over to playback for some reason. I didn't know what the hell was going on. So, okay, here we go. It's still going. And it's going on almost two hours. God, what a video. I hate long videos like this, but it becomes necessary, unfortunately. Okay, so here's where we get to the... You now. Can I vent for a second? Hope that's okay. Just sad tonight. Got Dominique's flu, which by now we of course know is the roomie, so there's no point in really saying groomie at this point. Everybody already knows. I kicked his ass and he never gets sick, and I'm scared I'll be back in the hospital, so I'm almost angry about it. I'm tired of being sick. Again, if she had an autoimmune deficiency disorder, that flu could be downright lethal. So she doesn't have an autoimmune disorder, that's a lie. I opened up the internet about it, and I've had so many horrific judgments and hate about it, so many people telling me it's not real, that I've made it up, whining, doing it for attention, I swear to Christ, I know the, log the logic, I know logic states, don't listen to it, but it gets hard, I don't know why we are so mean to one another instead of lifting one another up. And this time I was tired, I was still falling for it, because that right there again, emotional appeal. Victim Olympics. And I said, because people are dumb on the internet, I've talked about a little about in you now, and those rumors are so very dumb. And if I hear a dumb rumor, I will talk about it. I've done that a few times. Nothing to do about it. Sad tonight, angry about this upcoming flu, because flus are upcoming. Just started today, had it for a week. My body can't handle it, but gotta go through it. And heaven forbid I open my mouth about it without having a ton of online abuse. I get so sad at how awful people are. No, you get a ton of, of online abuse because you never shut up about it. All you ever talk about is it constantly. And it's always blaming it for this, blaming it for that. When you make videos that say, I don't want to die, you kind of invite stuff like that. Which I'll get into that. That'll be one last point. She acts so saintly. What in hell does that mean? It means there's points in which you've actually put yourself up literally on a freaking cross as the mock cult of Joyces, which is starting to look more like the real thing than a, than a joke, and you put videos up where you're holding your hands in prayer with a halo behind you. People called out Obama on that stuff, where, he was be, where it was considered a low-key, subtle, subliminal manipulation, where a person sees the figure as saintly, and thus is not likely to criticize. 
So then, what did you do in your video collab with Mr. Repsion? Exactly that. Hmm, imagine that. Um, let's see. And I said, remember those posts are? You could be a living saint and they'd criticize the light coming off of you. And I said, I don't understand it. I can't wrap my mind around it. And I said, stop taking those stupid so serious you're going to burn yourself out. Someone writing, someone needs to expose her for the sociopath, psychopath she is. The only criticism to see is that I'm an attention whore and my illness is made up. So what is there to expose again? I'm not sure if this was really an admission of guilt at this point or if that was sarcasm. Because you never really know with her sometimes. But here she's saying, and the only criticism of that is I'm an attention whore and my illness is made up. So what is there to expose? And some people will low-key tell you about the stuff that they're doing before they do it. They'll low-key actually admit it. And again, it makes me wonder if, if they really want to be exposed, if that's really why they do it. I try, Phil, but it comes at me every single day. I'm not even on LolCal anymore, Phil. That's a lie. She's on there, like, daily, and everybody on there knows how much she obsesses. Her and a group of her little fans decided to come on there at one point and try to troll everything up, and it only wound up with a few of them getting banned and everybody else laughing at her. Oh, and by the way, it made them that much more determined because it told them that she was legitimately hiding something. So they decided to look into it more as a result. Now she has three threads instead of one, where that one thread at that time was actually starting to die off. If she had just left it alone, she wouldn't have had a problem. But this is Katie, and she's so obsessed with freaking control it ain't even funny, so of course she has to poke the, ba the, the bear and tell the internet, come at me, bro. Which worked about as well as you would think, which is like a forest fire when you try to put it out with kerosene. Some days it just gets you down, like I open the internet and welcome to constant abuse. It's insane. Mind you, she says she doesn't care about any of this. She's a liar. It's just a front. Some people are just chaotic stupid. Welcome to the internet. I knew it would be tough, I didn't know it would be like this, I didn't think it would be so bad if I wasn't sick, this whole sick thing sucks, and I said I tried to warn you, very different jungle, everything is scrutinized, at the same time you've made some genuine friends too, who you then proceeded to burn and treat like shit, so congratulations. I have, which I'm grateful for, but almost all the other people on there that I have to be grateful with, to be honest. People can be really messed up, the thing to keep in mind is once it's out, it's out, if you run it follows, if you stay it follows, the rumors will be a thing. So will the ugly side. But on that note, don't go obey debating Onision. It's like paying, playing chess with a, with a pigeon. And this was when she was doing the will I, won't I, which for those of you that aren't aware, that's sales and marketing. It is crowd hype. It's to hype up the cat crowd and get you drawn into the spectacle. That's what the will I, won't I videos were where she was obsessed and still is obsessed. And I put on there, arguing with a narcissist is like playing chess with a pigeon. No matter how good you are, the bird is going to shit on the board and strut around like it won anyway. And for those of you that saw her, his last conversation with her and her reaction afterwards, is it not this exact same thing? He told her, matter-of-factly, he wasn't going to be there. She then turned around and said it was going to happen anyway, knowing that that wasn't going to be the case, and then turned around and strut around and acted like, like she won anyway, which there was no victor for anybody regardless. There were no terms, there was nothing that was going on. He actually called you out in your shit and your video, posting his commentary between the two of you, made you look worse than better. And you did it to yourself. You were the pigeon. And Onision is a little jerk. I wholeheartedly agree with that. It will be a cold day in hell before I support that man. But, on the same token, you proved his words right about you. And you do the same shit that he does. And on the same token, you can't say that you won a, a debate or that he didn't show when he told you he was never going to show to begin with. That is just arrogance and more narcissism on your part. And of course you laughed at it and you referred to this a number of times. Guess who made a video about me? Oh, this is too good. And this is where you started getting freaking excited to the point where you were frothing out of the mouth, basically. And I said, who? You know, and I'm like, no, I don't. Pick one. Because lately, you've been pissing off a lot of people. Ass at himself, Onision. Hold on, I'll send you a link. And I'm like, well, it finally happened. Well, let's see here. I haven't watched it yet. Somebody said I was in it. Send me the link. I'm going to wait and see and set up my camera. And you would... And, and you, I set up my camera and you would react style. 
Apparently he roasted me, I can't wait. Again, she's obsessed. She can't wait. She's immediately chomping at the bit for this. I'm gonna wait and see it and then set up a reaction. This is not a healthy reaction to this. Most people would look at it and be whatever. He must be very desperate. I've literally got 12 per, 12k subscribers, so for him to try to come after me is hilarious. It's only promotion, though. And again, this is her seeing what she can get out of it. I said, it doesn't look like a roast. He's quite the pigeon, but I'm not found not through it yet. I said, haven't seen it so far. I heard he roasted me and he made fun of my appearance, which is fine by me. Okay, so I watched. He put up a brief thing about the, oh my god, I don't want to die, and then anything else related to that was pure pigeon. And said, oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm being fed info from people. He made fun of me for not having, for not wanting to die, apparently. Classy. She always says she's being fed info from people, so she can always turn around and say later that she knows things that other people don't. It's this big way of trying to make herself look sus uh, mysterious. Crowd awe. Another sales and marketing tactic, and a tactic social justice warriors use. Okay? So, again... She knows what she's doing, and she can't wait. And she's trying to seem mysterious so people will eat up her act. And I say it's like watching a big child that thinks the occasional random gesture of hitting a keyboard like a drunken monkey is cool. And there should be clear inclination of why you don't go debating this guy. It's not a debate, it's a sideshow. I would say lay off any mentions of this further, of, of further debates. He's mentioning the illness stuff, I think definitely, deliberately, because it's one of the bigger criticisms you get. Again, I'm trying to help her out again. Of course it is. He's such an ass. I'm not sure what he, what he said yet. I'm still willing to debate him, but there will be stipulations he won't follow. I have a plan, but he's not going to end up beating me. Again, all she cares about is whether she wins. Another trait of a narcissist. I'm going to show what an ass he is. So basically, he expects you to respond on it, thus feeding the mob. Basically, ignore his bit and don't even address his shit. And I said, no, don't do it. If you debate him, it's going to blow up in your face. Remember the pigeon bit? Some things are bigger than winning and losing. This is not a schoolyard fight. This is an entirely different battlefield he has home advantage on. I am aware. I will not end up debating him. you got to trust me on this. So she's setting the stage herself. But she's aware of everything that I'm saying. So she knows what's going to happen if she does stuff. And yet she does shit all anyway. And I said... You want to get him freaked? Don't address this video. The critics will be expecting certain things, so do something entirely different. Throw him for a loop. Trust isn't an issue. What I'm saying is this is a battlefield I know very well, and I know exactly what strategies he will play. He's got himself a very specific system, routine, habits. Right down to how he reacts to things, what moves he chooses to make, etc. Which is funny when people will say that you don't know anything about Joy, because after, if, if I know this guy this well, with not even a month or two, I basically know habits, routine, right down to how reactions tend to be. I can figure people out chapter and verse. Analysis. I am good at it. It's one of my biggest strong points. Okay? And it's funny because then they turn around and act like they're, they're so mystified, you know, you're just judging me. Bitch, you ought to know better. I am not just judging you. I know what's right in front of my face, and I can see it very clearly. And then, hold on, editing, we'll read in a second. Thanks for writing, I really appreciate everything you say. Even though we can tell here that she's basically just ignoring me. And I said, if that vid has anything to do with the above, then hold off on publishing. He set a trap for you, and without right saying it. All about the head games, manipulation, and mob mentality are turning a crowd against you. So please do not be in a rush to publish right now. Add to your heart's content, but now's the time to be super conscious. I watched the vid, it's not that bad, I was laughing, I did a reaction to it, haven't uploaded it yet, and I said, don't do it, it's a trap. How so? Thought I will upload it either tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll see what he's doing. Funny, he he has nothing on me. And it's weird how she always say that, that people have nothing on you when you have enough on yourself, but anyway, again, did a reaction to it, I'll upload it either tomorrow or Wednesday. And I said, it's not about that. It goes to my prior responses here. I've got till 10 before I can really talk about it. He has nothing on you, but it, he's socially setting a very subtle trap for you. This is how manipulators wage war. It's sneaky. And I said, no problem. Take your time. My video response. 
is really positive. I'm laughing and actually giving a compliment or two, which wasn't really true, it was kind of stupid. Seriously, hold up on publishing it. I know you mean well and he's setting you up for problems and you'll run right into it. Don't fall for it, trust me on this, at least until I can explain later. And she said, no problem. And we had a conversation around that time. And in that conversation, she decides to tell me that Onision took that uh, I don't want to die video. You know how you see the hallmark of the watermark on it that said like the screenshot image that says I don't want to die. According to her, what she told me was she told me that Onision had made that up, that he photoshopped it and put it up there to make her look bad. That's right. That's exactly what she told me. And I said, no, I remember you making that video. It doesn't exist, Phil. It's not there. He's making it up to make me look bad. Katie, I just pulled the video up on your site. Do you want me to link you to your own video? Is this how it's going down? Really? Really? Is this what we're pulling now? And this is when I started to get concerned. And then she said, oh, I, I just must have overlooked it. It was uh, fibro brain and all that. Fibro brain has nothing to do with selective memory, folks. So at this part, point in time, I started to really start to take more mental notes. And nope, okay, something is really wrong here. Big red flag. Because I, I know that's not the case. And I already had noticed something about earlier about her Kathy video when she was blaming Alex Jones... Uh, Infowars logo and like fibro brain and stuff and I'm like that's weird that doesn't make sense but okay whatever you do you so here we go after this after several hours of me on the phone she said so I'm taking your advice I'm not gonna upload it probably until this weekend and then she kept on with the phone she kept telling me you know if if I do it if I do it but now it's like I'm not gonna probably upload it until this weekend translation she's gonna upload it this weekend which she did I did a reaction, it's actually pretty funny, I laughed at the video. He's got nothing on me, so I wasn't offended. In the end, it's good promotion. And trust me, he's not going to debate me, I'm not, it's not going to happen. If he does debate me, which he won't, I would go with it with a very big arsenal of facts and all that shit in general. Oh. A fa facts and shit in a big arsenal. I would also probably have a small team. She likes her little inner circles. I basically would bring just bring things up to track him, up things to track him, but I would do it in a very planned, methodical way. Planned out. All of the stuff that she does is planned, but then whenever it backfires, it's brain fog. Funny. Selected memory much. But again, planned, methodical way. Narcissistic sociopath. But again, I can almost assure you he will not debate me under the stipulations I have presented. I wish I had seen it at this point, that it was basically two narcissists going to war, but, you know, it is what it is. And the rest of this week, I'm going to focus mostly my videos on other topics I want to do. So, I've, I've been processing your strategy. You're right, he is baiting me for a response, but I'm not going to respond for a while. And then it's going to be very lighthearted. I'm going to throw people for a loop. Anyway, how you doing? Hope you're okay. want to say thank you so much for all the love and support and friendship, but I really appreciate you. If I can do anything in return, please let me know. Again, the happy-go-lucky, sunshiny bullshit. I said, hey, as luck would have it, I'm off today. We should chat at some point. So far, I'm doing okay, getting everything paid off at a time, trying to contact unemployment as we speak, regarding the other stuff that I mentioned about my GoFundMe and all that. The important thing to understand is he is baiting you for a response. Why, etc., in social media, everything is under scrutiny. One key part that I'm glad no one seemed to catch, for instance, this is something that she did, advising others to deal with bullies using social humiliation that could wind up actually really really dangerous especially if the bully was already violent to begin with this is what she said in a live stream again oh this is noon excuse me this is noon not midnight february 28th recently she had told someone at that time on a live stream that they should that's how they should deal with public humili with, with with bullies with public humiliation and my response was, you shouldn't do that. I'm glad nobody seemed to catch it, but that could wind up getting really dangerous, especially if the bully was already violent. 
Now take the social response to that, oh, Joy is saying this person is doing dangerous things and giving dangerous advice. Extreme, sure, but the idea here is to realize just how very different of a landscape this is. The idea right now is give them nothing, take everything, as in the critics. Sure, I'm down if you're able to talk, but I know it's your day off, so don't want to wake you to waste it on onion ass. And I said, uneasy on a distance. He didn't do anything purely random with that video. Every aspect was, in fact, deliberate. I have to send a quick email here. I notice he's trying to start a war among all of us. He's baiting. Now, this just sounds very familiar, considering Joy recently had her followers going out around baiting people with loyalty tests to see who the true believers were. And here, I noticed he is trying to start a war among us all. He's baiting. And what? how the fuck does that make you any better? Joy doing the same shit Onision does. There you go. Take your time, etc. And so not among anybody, just certain people. It's not even he's trying to turn people against each other. He's trying to turn mob mentality against them, using them to do it against themselves. I meant... The whole particular thing made me laugh, bonus acting up, able to do Skype. I said, all right, I've installed it. Yeah, this is where we're getting Skype up so I could talk about it. And she said she's never really on Sky on LolCow anymore, but again, more LolCow. This is an obvious contradiction. She lies. And I said, funny stuff, really sad, because at that point, a lot of the stuff really was sad, too. And I had defended her a couple of times on here. Eh, not anymore. What is the point of the board? Live stream, I said several times I'm sick with flu and flu meds and can barely talk. But no, it's more reasonable to say I'm on drugs. By the way, speaking of things that you say on live stream, Oh my god, my voice, people, my voice is out. I can't speak. Oh, I'm suddenly doing so much better after I got enough praise from the audience within a few hours. And, but I'm just barely getting there. I'm just barely getting better, even though my voice now sounds perfectly healthy. But if you can tell, anybody can turn around and fake this for the crowd. It's not very hard. It's also very see-through and very obvious that someone is lying and trying to manipulate you in order to guilt trip you or get emotional manipulation value by claiming that they're sick for sympathy. And again, just more pathological lying. As you see, I could switch through that very, very easily, and especially someone that is voice trained, it does not take much. Said that she was officially diagnosed, anybody can say that. Can't function in cold, etc., etc. I'm so wanting to do a video going into dramatic detail for all the illnesses I have, throw in some AIDS, leukemia, that one disease uh, Michael Jackson had that turned him white. Which I didn't notice that one, unfortunately, but again, you say shit and you wonder why people criticize you. Then the Utah stuff, then the Melissa stuff, where they thought that she was Melissa and thought she was in Utah, both of which were not true. Malaria, because Utah's in the Midwest. If they paid attention, they would know I've accidentally dropped hits into everything. So you guys, that she's, that she's saying that she's completely worried about doxing, I want you to keep this in mind, in her own words... If they paid attention, they would know I've accidentally dropped hints to everything. That includes her name, where she lives, everything. And when someone accidentally drops hints to everything, that's not accidental at that point. Again, doing things just to fuck with them. At this point, this was going on where they were ignoring everything and making up stuff, so I didn't really give them any credibility. Then things started to go kind of weird after that, but... I like how they talk about my baby voice. I mean, the voice I use when I'm kindly meeting people because apparently if I'm ranting, that should be my everyday voice. She has voices she uses for different situations. Did you know human beings only have one mode of operation? This shit makes me laugh. Very arrogant person. And I said here, I really don't like Tennessee unemployment at this point. First I have to reschedule, then it's jumping through hoops, all of that stuff. If you're interested, you can read it. Are your live streams saved anywhere? Because I kind of dropped where I'm from. Can we edit that part out? I can show you now how, or you can even do it for you. Or I can even do you through, do it for you. Yeah, because that's going to be a thing. Bat, don't tell them anything I'm writing you. Yeah, don't tell them, the, don't tell them about the man behind the curtain. 
So you took the bait and he ran with it for crying out loud. Really? This is March 5th, 1 o'clock. I think it's what, April now? April 19th, so it's been about a month. And this is the time ever. First of all, I didn't win. Jacqueline Glenn did. That's just ridiculous. He's desperate. And I narrowed my eyes. I'm like, you know exactly what I mean. Because, oh, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, and then he's doing it. Then she's doing it. Again, she couldn't be honest with me. She lied to me. I didn't honestly didn't think this was going to happen. I don't care, though. I'm not taking this seriously. I decided I'm not going to take this shit seriously. And I'm like, oh, the hell you didn't. I only spent an hour spelling it out, and he followed suit point by point. So in other words, I just called her on a lie. She knew that this was going to happen exactly like this, and as she said, she methodically planned it out. So there's no way she can say that she didn't know, because she did. And even then, I know you told me, Phil, and it's not like I thought you were wrong. Here's what happened. Jacqueline Glenn made a video that said she would debate him after we spoke, so I figured that was going to be it. It was done, so I figured this was all BS, no big deal. If you want to talk about it, give me a call. I'm honestly shocked. Again, that's a lie. She wasn't shocked. She was laughing about it. Shocked and laughing about it are two very big different things, especially the way that she was putting it. Here's what happened. You were chomping at the bit to react to those vids, and you did it anyway. I know you were. I called you out on it that very day, lol. In other words, I'm not getting upset about it. I'm just la I'm, I'm kind of I'm laughing at it, and I'm like, I called you out on it that day. You knew how it was going to play out. We both knew it was going to be a thing. I'm in the process of getting food, hanging with Carrie, my girlfriend. Okay? So again, I called her out on that. No worries. If you want to talk about it, give me a call. I knew this was possibility, but again, because of Jacqueline, I figured it was over and done with, but I still waited. This is a lie, of course. We had spoken before. I knew about Jacqueline's video. It's ridiculous, but it's okay. I'm not stressed or worried. I just don't care. But she's shocked, but she just doesn't care. Again, contradiction. You supposedly had some important stuff to relay, but honestly, remember who you're talking to? I am not one of these folks new to the scene. Nero's eyes, because this is where I'm getting annoyed. OCD person in a room with a crooked picture. So I know that's not been that way. I've got the messages. You want to run that by me again? So I call her out on it. And here's gaslighting. What are you talking about? Call me later. Text is so confusing. Again, gaslighting. Text is so confusing. Trying to blame text. It's not text's fault. You not caring or stressing out about this. Oh, so if you want to call me later, we can, because at this point, she knows she's been caught in a lie, and I've already told her that I've caught in her lie, and that I have the messages, would you like to try that again? So she's trying to create a platform in which she can backpedal with no paper trail. Someone that knows that they are in the wrong and doesn't want to get caught. The last couple of days, I've come to a big conclusion about everything. The mysterious big conclusion about everything, just like she has to get back to me about some strange, mysterious thing. Again, crowd sell. I'm not stupid. I've seen this hundreds of times over a decade. I'm the worst person to try and manipulate like this, especially with the same stuff. We haven't talked since then, which is I stopped caring. Not like empathy, but about all of this. Even being doxxed, I stopped caring. Which, she wasn't doxxed. Nobody even revealed her name at this point. You know, people were just talking stuff about her and finding stuff about her because, hello, she was dropping information. As you saw above, if they pay attention, she's dropped everything. Keyword, everything. So she, there's nothing to be shocked over. I am okay with it now, all this other stuff, even though beforehand, what she said above, she already said she didn't care. So that wasn't a big change. That's a lie. I've done nothing wrong, so if people want to be stupid, let them, but I can finally let it go. I don't care. This won't be a debate. It'll be a convo if it even happens. I just don't care. It took me a while to get to that point. And this is where I realize I'm being lied to, and I said, okay, we'll talk, and then I'm going to you now and have a Steam giveaway at some point, and head desk enough to leave a facial imprint. Take your time. Said, hey, girl, hey, don't worry, I'm not debating him. Narrows eyes and a thin slits and stares. This is some time later, that day, March 5th. Because I had just seen something that said, uh, I'm debating Onision, big bold caps letters. Me and Carrie, my girlfriend, were both, I was at her house, and we both saw this at the same time. And we look at this, and we look at each other and go, actually, Carrie's first words were, what the fuck? And I'm like, did I really just see that? No, 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 no. And sure enough, it says, I'm debating Onision, bold, capital letters, exclamation points. 
after she just told me she's not going to. So again, a lie. After all of that, after wasting my time, it's a lie, and she's debating it. And she has lied to me again. And then she goes, I'm not doing anything right now, lol. And I called her on that, and I say, key words, right now. Because I heard her during the stream, and she's like, oh, well, maybe we'll do something later. That was the one in which she claimed that she had internet issues, but she could stream before and after the interview, even Onision called her on it, which is kind of crappy. Okay? So again, that also was a lie. She wasn't having connection issues. She just didn't show. It wasn't in her court. It wasn't on her terms. All about that control. I will talk to you about it later, lol. And I said, look, all you're doing at this point is proving your critics right. This back and forth stuff, then in you now I get the notification. I'm debating Onision. Or maybe you think I can't read today. And I'm not talking about the screw-ups. I'm talking about the ones regarding Onision's attention and all that. You're giving them stuff, with stuff to screw with you on. Whatever. You're going to do what you're going to do. No matter how much advice you get, no matter how it comes off, I can't stop you. But if you debate Obesion, it's going to backfire, and you can't say you weren't warned or that you were shocked, because you can't be shocked when someone point on gives you a play-by-play -play of what the response is going to be, and it happens. There, I said my piece. So at that point, I figured I got it out of my system, and even there, I said, look, I don't care about the device, about advice, because you're going to do whatever you're going to do, no matter what. It's right here, guys. Right here. Line by line. Word by word. Straight from Facebook. Okay? And I figured I'd say my piece, that's it, I'm done, I don't need to worry about it any further. <sighs> gotcha, and if you want to talk later, we can. Again, trying to press for verbal communication so she can have something she can manipulate that doesn't have a paper trail. She knows she's been caught. Thanks for the info, I'll fill you in on how I feel. Honestly, at this point, where these assholes are talking shit no matter what I do, so I've gotten to the, the I don't give a, frick, a, a fuck point. I'll explain later if you want. Again, she can't explain now. She's got to do this mysterious, I have more information that you don't know about later. Tune in at 11 for details. Again, crowd sell. And I said, look, it seems to me there ain't much I can talk about with this. If I spilled it out close to an hour and it still didn't get across, then another hour or two ain't helping it. Talking shit no matter what? Great, fine. But don't bullshit me and think after years I'm not going to know. Key words here. Do not bullshit me and think after years I'm not going to know. Don't tell me one thing when I can clearly see another, and don't prove I'm right. Then you're just making things worse for yourself. I want you to keep this paragraph in mind, because it sums up the entirety of Joy's problem with her haters. That is it, right there, in a single paragraph, summarized. How am I bullshitting you, acting like she doesn't know what the hell's going on, playing innocent? And again, this is text. Text is very stupid, hence why I said, if you want, we can talk to each other. And I said, ahem, am I going to debate Abyssion? I might debate Abyssion. Okay, I agree with you. It's a bad idea, and it's not going anywhere. Oh, look, you now announcement camps that reads, and I quote, I'm debating Onision, and then telling me it's not happening, or it might not happen. I mean, really? Okay, what are you talking about, you two? You now, I'm debating Onision. She tried to act like it doesn't exist, much like that bit with uh, Chain Handler. Oh, it doesn't exist, even though it's right in front of your face. And then, well, it's not happening today? Well, duh, I know that. I can see and hear it. It's not a text thing. It's a, this is what you put out to the world thing. The notification I got when you started your stream. I am saying I'm not sure what I'm going to, to do yet. I'm not going to be speaking with him today. Ooh, okay. So with that, I'll explain. I want to talk about the whole the video that Nisian put out. That's what this topic was. But you can only write like a bit, so I wrote that to get the point across. Did I only write, I am debating Onision? Again, she changed the exclamation point to a, to a question. It's an exclamation point. You can actually see it on the actual you now itself. So again, obvious lie. Obvious lie. I don't remember. I don't know if I get my notifications. Trying to act mystified again. Appeal to mystery. Gaslighting. Trying to make me second guess myself when I can see what's right in front of my face. Like with subject lights or shit like that, you can't, you can write, out a ton, you can't write out a ton of stuff. And I say, point blank, because I'm fed up with this at this point, look, let's cut the crap. You want this so badly it hurts. I know you well enough. 
You couldn't resist the reaction, not even one, but several veds on it, no less. And you can't resist this, you're eating it up. I think it's hilarious, I'll give you that. I said it outright, which is what brought me into the chat. I got into the phone while I was hanging with Carrie, and we both looked at each other and said, what the fuck? Okay, like I said, call me later if you want to talk, because text is going to be stupid. Again, I've already spelled out for her that, it's th that she needs to stop blaming text. That I'm not falling for it, but she's insisting on me to call her so that she can try and manipulate me and not have words thrown back in her face. That she can't deflect. She can't fight her own words, because there's no spin on that. It is just out there and in the open. She'll try, but the only people that believe it at that point are the ones that want to believe the lie, and those people need therapy. And we listened in the stream, and finally I had to close it down. I was getting irritated. We went outside a little and such. We saw that, and we saw the vids, and I just don't get it. Yeah, people are going to talk shit, and I'm going to laugh at them, but this is just giving them credibility in certain other areas, enough that people are starting to take that stupid shit serious. Right? Again, let's talk on the phone later if you want. If not, okay, I'll explain how I'm feeling now because I've changed how I feel about things. Adapting to the audience. I don't know what I want to do yet, however I'm open at this point. The you now is about a subject line you can only write a little bit, but I'll explain later. Again, lying. Katie, it seems to be very clear what you're going to do. You're going to jump at this the first chance you get. You're going to do you. I'm not going to like it, but I can't live for someone else. It is your mistake to make. There is no phone call that's going to change that, no matter what gets said. And this isn't about text, or how much is on you now, because I know what I've read. Gaslighting is not going to work on me, guys. Don't try it. Don't try to bullshit me. I will call you out on it. And again, you aren't getting the full picture. Remember the bit with Constigo where she tried to tell them they're not getting the, the, the full picture on it with the words right in front of them? Hello, here we go. You're not getting the full picture by what you read, because I've also changed how I feel, but I, you don't have to call it so okay. I love you either which way, which is a subtle guilt trip, and by the way, fuck you. Text can be taken many different ways. Again, gaslighting. Dear, you're trying to blow smoke my way, and you should know better. I know how to read a text, punctuation and all, and there aren't ways to get around. I'm debating Onision, really. Really, really, that's what you're going with? It's pretty straightforward, punctuation verse, everything. In some other ways, I'd agree with you, but not that one. Right, and I'm saying that you aren't getting the full picture because you can only type a little bit. It was to talk about his video, but you can I can't write all that out there. And that's probably what's irritating the most at this point. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to do, that's you. But when you try to tell me that the sun is the moon, I'm going to be a little skeptical. So right here in bold, what am I saying? What's irritating me the most? Whatever you're going to do is whatever you're going to do. That's not it. I am saying out right here, when you try to tell me the sun is the moon, I'm going to be skeptical. In other words, I'm getting irritated because you are lying to me. Because you are trying to manipulate me, and I see it for what it is. And calling you out on it, you're still doing it. You are insulting my intelligence, trying to tell me that the sun is the moon, when you and I both know that isn't the case. That's why I got pissed off. So right here, we see, and I've said it twice in this, that it's not about advice. So telling people that I'm butthurt because of advice, this is a lie. I can only write a few characters, you can be skeptical, but again, you can't understand the whole meeting unless you talk to me, because text can be very misleading. Again, the world revolves around Katie, you can't understand things unless you talk to her. But I am talking to her right now, and what I'm seeing is manipulation. And then she turns around and tries to gaslight again, text can be misleading, trying to get me to second guess myself. That's what she's really saying, and I ain't falling for it. Hello, a decade of this. I am not one of these regular people, Starstruck fans on YouTube, that wants a little bit of her attention. But you won't get the full picture unless you talk to me, but you don't have to, it's okay. Loki attempt at, uh... Loki attempt at a guilt trip. Narcissism again, you won't get the full picture unless you talk to me, that's a lie. If I wrote that, I honestly don't remember if I did, so I'm going to go with what you said because you aren't a liar. Again, now she's saying, again, credibility, I am not a liar. You're right, I am not a liar. I know that you're, that you're bullshitting me. You just said, I am not a liar. There we go. 
if now it's if I wrote that I don't remember it my because my memory is faulty again blaming memory and shit then that's why sometimes you have to make it short to get some of what's going on across limited characters and again that was a lie it was full on connected punctuation and everything and I said so what so I can devote an hour or two of going round and round saying how much you agree and then have the complete opposite play on out because I'm at a loss here if it's going to be you trying to tell me that there's more to read into with a complete verse that is really on point, there's not much to say. I'm just going to get progressively more and more annoyed because I'm quite capable of reading and understanding the English language. I don't like people trying to manipulate me, folks. Don't play head games with me. I have zero tolerance for it. Right, and again, you are making a bit of a judgment because you don't know what I'm feeling right now, but that's okay. You can do whatever you want. Again, go back to the Constigo argument where they told she said the exact same thing to Chan to Chan Handler, the exact same thing, almost not quite word for word, but the same phrasing, the same manipulative bullshit. Trying to tell me I'm making judgment, I'm not passing judgment. It's your own damn words, and I'm calling you out on your shit. You don't know how I'm feeling right now. You pretty well spelled out how you did, and you're trying to lie to me. But that's okay. You can do whatever you want. Again, low key guilt trip trying to make me feel guilty, saying you're judging me, you're just a, one of the haters, that sort of thing. I don't ha you don't have to talk to me, it's okay. Oh, woe is me, you don't have to do this. You know, really? But reading words can be misleading, you can't understand everything going on. That has got to be the worst attempt to manipulate someone and gaslight them that I have ever seen in my life. Especially someone that's known you for a decade. You don't have all the info, just a few pieces. Again, that's a lie. I was in very constant communication with you. I have all, I had all the info. Maybe not these days, and I'm glad. But you just keep playing up this bullshit. It's your favorite thing. You don't have all the info. You're a liar. But that's okay. You do you. If you want to call, then call me. If not, it's okay. Not upset or anything. Mind you... No, no point was upset really brought into it, and this is where I really started to get ticked off. Because I realized that I was definitely being manipulated at this point. This is guilt tripping right here. Oh, it's okay, I'm not upset with you. I didn't bring up anything about you being upset. That has nothing to do with this conversation. It's really okay, I'm not mad at you. No, that's a guilt trip. That is like a motherly guilt trip type thing. And I said, takes a long deep breath, yeah, I'm not happy here. I only have a couple of pet peeves, tiny amounts, but this ain't doing wonders for them. I do more than read words, I listen, I watch the vids, and on occasion I even read some of the criticism if there's anything to it, which isn't much. You know I've defended you on a few occasions, so as far as just a knee-jerk judgment, no, I'm not doing that. I don't play the buddy system game. I don't just defend or detract, folks, and I sometimes take a look at things before I have to say something about it. But if this is the line I'm going to get, and you can't feel the need to come out and be straight with me, then I'm not going to take the time just to call so I wind up more frustrated and have the crappy stuff play out anyway. Again, this is why I walked away, guys. Not because I'm butthurt about advice. Because I'm being screwed around with, and I don't appreciate it. I don't like head games, I have a zero tolerance, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, I flat out said, if people start acting that way, I will cut them loose, no exceptions, no hesitation. I am through putting up with that in my life. I am 37 years, well, excuse me, 36, going to be 37 years old at that point. I don't have time for these parasites. I don't have time for these emotional vampires and these walking mental malfunctions. Just because you need psychological help does not mean I am going to be the whipping boy when you need a distraction to cover your shit. I am also not going to be the one you take your shit out on. I will very firmly put my foot down. I have done it in the past, and I did it here too. And here we go. Phil, I love you, but that's all too much miscommunication. Or that that's all too much. Miscommunication can happen via text, and it's too much to type out. If you want to talk, call me. If not, it's okay. You're my friend regardless. Again, the guilt trip. I've come to a new place in myself over the last couple days, stuff we haven't talked about. Again, the mystery. Appeal to mystery. Maybe you can offer insight. Maybe not. Take care of you. Enjoy your girl. 
And I said, hello, want to try guesting for a few minutes? Not long, going to go to bed. I just, I get, I bet you were tired too. Just got some stuff to say. Don't worry, all good stuff. Now, she came onto my stream, and she wanted me to uh, put her on guest. And Carrie looks over at me and goes, don't do it. I got a really bad feeling about this. And so I didn't. I put everybody else on guest because I was tired of her shit, and I wasn't dealing with it, so I just didn't answer her. I ain't putting up with it. And then she eventually left. And I, but I did say, I'm going to try to work it in. I had Carrie waiting a while, and she said she'd be up after Mukot. And he goes, no problem. Going Might go to bed. I'm exhausted. By the way, if you ever want to know, not bring up in you now, don't worry. There was some stuff that happened a few days ago. Never got to tell you that would help you get clarity into everything. Remember saying, got to talk to you? It was about that in my fucking brain I forgot about now. She didn't forget. That's a lie. Just wanted to come on and say thanks for being so nice and tell people how much you helped me. And I mean that. If we ever, even if we disagree, I want you to know I appreciate you, because I know you care and you and have been really helpful. Yes, you know I care and have been really helpful, but you didn't waste any time demonizing me with your paranoid, delusional rantings. Two people in private, not public, because the moment you do that public, I will rake you through the freaking coals. I am not putting up with anybody's shit anymore. I am not do the doormat for the deranged. And that includes you at this point, Katie. Didn't want you to feel like I don't appreciate what you were doing lately from our convo from yesterday. Actions speak louder than words. If you really appreciate it so much, you would tell me the truth and not be a complete liar. Here we go. Someone from LolCal the other day who acted like a friend in private basically said that they had been talking shit and half threatened me not to talk about it. Again, stuff you don't know. It has to do with the anti onision community. This is the point where I broke and said fuck it recently. Again, info you weren't aware of and forgot to tell you. Sorry for all the info you don't have to check respond. So she's telling me that that has to do with everything I mentioned above. That is, anti onision crowd has nothing to do with her personal choices and lying to my face. It has nothing to do with her attitude about it being called on it and lying. And in addition, nobody from LolCal threatened her. Nobody. She had no. She has no proof to back that up. It was just another paranoid statement where, oh, the law cows are out to get me. No, they criticize you with the information you keep giving them. And if you even read their post, they outright say it. They say it many times over three threads now. You're the gift that keeps on giving. You're the one that keeps giving us all the info. They're not out to get you. You're out to get you. You're off the freaking rails. You do it to yourself. But you try to pass this all up as this mystery information, and needless to say, I didn't respond to you. And then she said, I haven't, this is March 7th now, I haven't heard from you, so I assume you don't want to talk and that's okay. That's no shadiness, I'm just trying to be respectful. But I thought I would give you a couple updates, the last video I put today to promote your channel, by the way, not really promoting my channel in that video. And the promotions you did do were not really much of much. Okay. I hope that's okay. I filmed it last, and I get, but I get, oh, the promotion of the channel thing again. Oh, his channel wouldn't be anywhere without me. He, his, you now wouldn't be w anywhere without me. The people that got on there came on there because they were interested in what I had to say. The ones that stayed were because they were genuinely interested. That's it. You had nothing to do with that, so stop patting yourself on your overinflated ego and once again acting like the world revolves around you and nobody in the world can do well without your personal approval. Fuck you and your narcissistic complex. Okay? But again, that's another situation in which the world revolves around Katie again. Freaking psycho. And then second, I debated, decided I am going to debate him, didn't fully commit to the decision until yesterday, so just letting you know. And again, this is something that I already said you're going to do it, and that's that. I am aware of that. I knew that was coming. A blind man could see that shit in a blackout. want to thank you for all your help, although I don't think you were, although I don't think you were wrong, I've made some internal changes about it, all where I'm okay to do it now. If you want to talk about it, we can, but we don't have to. I don't need any help with that. I hope everything is going well. And even though I'm not taking your advice, I hope we are okay because I respect you and still love you even if we disagree. Thanks, Phil, and I hope you're having a good day. Now, again, this is trying to appeal with sparkles and bullshit. Flowery phrasing. 
which is what the nice talk is about. But the reason that she's saying all of that, again, she's deliberately putting up here, even though I'm not taking her advice, so that she can turn around and talk to and, and tell to her fans that it's that I'm just butthurt about advice. Even though I've already spelled out that isn't the case. This is deliberate manipulation for later. This is setting the stage. She knows that I'm cross with her. So right about this time, I started to actually hear rumors that she was demonizing me. And I said, unsurprisingly, around that time, that if she's going to demonize me about anything, she's going to try and lie about the you now stuff, but I really hope she's not dumb enough to do that, because I literally have everything right there. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Oh, Philip is this, Philip is that, Philip, you know, I gave him $600. No, you didn't. It's all right there in, in public, okay? It's all there. But this is all the nice act. And I said, I'm having a great day when people are honest with me, and again, what did I say last time? You wanted this, and you have wanted it. You did. This isn't a recent thing, this wasn't something you now came to terms with, and yet you can't feel the need to respect others enough to be straight with them, me or your fans. I didn't misunderstand Jack, and that's why I didn't call. It was a waste of time. This has nothing to do with advice, and everything to do with honesty. Let me reread that again for anybody that kind of missed that. It has nothing to do with advice, and everything to do with honesty. So Katie, again, everything to do with honesty, and you're still lying to people and saying that I was butthurt about advice. Stop lying! And then, okay, and then following up lying to me with trying to bullshit me. I've known you for a while, Katie, a while. So let's put it for what it is. You've wanted this since the first video about it. If you can't be honest with me, there's nothing to talk about. I will not accept being bullshitted. A lot of people put enough respect and faith into you to go out of their way to defend you, and the very least you could do is be straight with them and me. You didn't forget things. You and I both know what you wanted to do, and you're going to do whatever, no matter who or what anyone says. Just be honest about it and stop trying to spin it like we just don't know and all of that BS, because you already know I'm going to see right through that crap. I will talk about anything and everything under the sun, but until you can actually be straight with this, I'm not going to talk about this particular thing because I don't appreciate being disrespected in such a manner, and this is bullshitting me, and it is disrespectful. If there was any questions on that point as to what my intentions were and why I got pissed, if this does not spell it out for you, there is nothing that can help you, because it is literally right there blunt and to the point. Okay? It is right there, and blunt, and to the point. Okay, so you do or don't want to have a conversation. I'm confused. Again, the backpedaling thing like with the Constigo thing. I don't want to talk via text because text is confusing. Again, trying that shit again. So if you feel I have wronged you, let's talk it out. You can't know everything going on because you don't have all the information, Phil. And trying to bullshit me again. I don't want to judge what you are saying on text, so if you want, let's talk. If not, that's okay, too. And I said, not in this, not if you're going to lie to me. Not if you're going to try to spin things, which is why I keep getting annoyed, and I'm not, and I'm going to say that again. Blaming text only accounts so much. Keep in mind, I do have a pretty good memory. I can also read things, and I pay attention to the general, to the video, and I pop in for the you now. I'm in the middle of work now regardless. Good, I'm glad you have a good memory, because I don't, do not sometimes... But branding me a liar without talking to me isn't fair, even though I am talking to her right then and right there. But I'm not talking to you? Obvious bullshitting. You think I'm not going to call you out on it when I just spent a bit t doing that, exactly that. And I know you pop it on you now. It shows me when people pop in and out. I'm not trying to hide anything from anyone except for a piece of info that, that swayed my opinion recently. It's swayed, not swayed. And I don't want to talk about it via text for obvious reasons that won't make sense. Except up above, she already talked to me about what that mystery info was, and it was bullshit. But I know you're working, so take your time. I feel I have been a very good friend to you, or I've tried to be, and I know you've been through some shit with some shitty people, but I'll be honest here, I don't be appreciated being a branded a liar when you don't have all the info. So one, you're not being branded a liar. You did lie on multiple occasions. 
Through this video, I've called you out on many of them, including the thing with me being butthurt. And saying I don't have all the info, you told me this mystery info above, and now you're claiming I don't have it. Because you're lying. Again, and you were caught in a lie. But just like the Constigo stuff that I showed you, when caught in a lie, what does she do? She turns around and said, and, and again, tries to obviously bullshit and gaslight. Oh, you're just judging me, you're just calling me a liar, you know, you don't have all the information. You really need to learn better arguments. Especially ones that actually make sense. Because we are, and then of course, um, I've been a very good friend to you, and I've, or I've tried to be. That's not being a very good friend. This shit now is definitely not being any kind of a friend. Especially since this was right around the time you started demonizing my ass. So, uh, that wasn't being a good friend. And you thought it wouldn't catch up with, and that I wouldn't find out, too. And again, this is the guilt trip. Oh, I've been a very good friend, or have tried to be. So let's go back to that conversation that I had, where I told you exactly what I feel about you and the kind of person that you are that uses people as much as you can. Remember that? Nice try. Because we are friends, I'm leaving open room open for you to say those things. One thing I am not is a liar. Excuse me. I, 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 I will admit you're not a liar. You're a pathological liar. I am someone that goes back and forth and can get confused and anxious, but I am not a liar. No, you've pretty much proven you are a pathological liar. And I don't always tell everyone everything going on. No, you try to do the shock and awe uh, mystery bullshit to kind of wow the crowd. And that's low-key manipulation, by the way. And when you do say things, you think that I don't pay attention, but I do. You knew more than anyone because we were, because we are, we were close. But if you remember the last stream, I guessed it. I kept saying we got to talk. Some things happened. We didn't. I figured you were busy. I respect that. If you actually respect that, then respect that shit and don't lie to me. And I will be. And I'm. And I'm someone that will always apologize and own up if I've done something wrong. Yeah, because we've seen you really do a whole lot of that, haven't you? I mean, you tried to bullshit me all there. You demonized me. You've lied about me with obvious lies to people over and over again. Uh, and Constigo, who is no saint by any means, you got called out on your actions, and you didn't really apologize, and then you claimed you apologized to her, then you got her vid taken down, because it didn't agree with your high and mighty routine, and then you postured your buddy Rob to do a video to attack her. And isn't it funny that he is always doing videos when it comes to calling people out on people that have an issue with you. Which, by the way, is really cringy and really creepy. But you respect that, and you're someone that will always apologize and own up if you've done something wrong. You've done a lot of somethings wrong, and you've done a lot of people wrong, me included. But we will never honestly see a genuine apology out of you because you're a liar, and you're a manipulator, and all this shit is done for your own benefit. And I told you what would happen if you kept on lying. I told you that I would spell out very clearly how much of a liar you really are. I was willing to let this shit go, but you just don't stop. And you were warned. What, five times now? Technically six? How many more warnings did you need? But you thought nobody could touch you. Oh, nobody's got shit on me, yada yada yada. You forget you've known me a decade. This isn't the first time you've tried manipulative bullshit. And after that, I got real wise. Even then, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I've got no problem with that. That's a lie. You have a very big problem with that. I don't want to say too much else again. There's no reason not to just outright say it, but again, dragging it along, just like your proof. I don't want to say too much. Bullshit. You could just say it and be done with it. You choose not to. I'm not accusing you of anything, even though you just accused me of calling you a, of branding you a liar. So right here, you're branding me a liar. You don't know what you're talking about, but I'm not accusing you of anything. That's a contradiction within a few minutes, folks. Contradiction. She can't even keep track of her lies long enough to keep her actual story straight. So here we go. Here's where this gets long and also ugly. Oh, don't even. Come on. We talked about a ton of this. You weren't branded a liar. You did lie. 
When you say, I'm not going to, or I'm not sure, then you do the opposite. That's not truthful. When you say it's a recent thing, when it's been a thing like, what, a week, two weeks? Then that's not true. Then you're debating him, then you were debating him, but your internet, that's a lie. I mean, really? What you do is what you do, but be straight. That is neither straight nor honest. Blaming text for it is just spinning the issue. Saying I'm taking things out of context is spinning the issue, and quite frankly, insulting my intelligence quite a bit. I supposedly misunderstood the announcement bit, even though Carrie and I both saw it at the same time and went, wait, what? Then it was a memory thing. Then this thing with the private lol cow that has nothing to do with anything I mentioned. This has nothing to do with text, but text does provide a format to pull up and go, hey, this person said X, Y, and Z commenting between calls. And you know that I've handled this environment to see things pretty well. You know that I've seen, yes, a lot of different things, but when it comes to communication, I'm very adept at it. Adept enough to chapter and verse tell you what Onision was up to without actually knowing the guy. Profiling it's a thing, well, when done correctly. And then, okay, right off the bat, what does she try to do? I say that it's not text. Hold on. She knows that this is not going to work. What does she do? She goes right back to miscommunication because of text. I mean, really? I just said that that's not going to work. I ain't buying it. You don't just go right back to the same shit. But there it is. Okay. I understand being on the fence, but I've heard you talk. I've even said how many times since this whole thing? A few? That this is what was going to happen, that this is what you wanted to do, and if you were going to, that you were, if anything, excited about it, this is not miscommunication. Okay, so let's do this. Do you want to talk on the phone even if we're, when you were free? It's not, it's okay, I'm cool with it, even if you're upset with me, I love you. I mean, no one, I mean, no one any harm. If I'm doing harm and I'm not aware, tell me, but let's actually give respect to one another to talk it out. Keep in mind, I just tried to do all of this right up there. There's no difference between text and communication at that point. She could spell out anything that she needs to, she is deliberately choosing not to. And she is doing it because she doesn't want what I just spelled up right here. Text provides a format to pull it up and go, this person said this, and they are not being honest. She knows she has been caught, and she is trying to keep herself from being caught further. And all that she is really doing, all that she is really doing at this point, is just digging herself a deeper hole. This is why I'm getting upset with this. This is why I don't like her very much. Okay? And no, you don't love me at all. Cringe. Don't mean anyone doing harm. Again, I tried to do all that. Again, I'm not insinuating any here. I hate matters like this via text. She keeps going back to text and blaming it like it's going to sink in my head. I'm not one of your starstruck fans. It doesn't work like that. You are not going to manipulate me. So at this point, it should be clear to you to stop trying. But you keep trying. It'll be much easier to explain everything, and I will own up to things too if I see them. There are some things you are saying now that I'm thinking, yes, he has a point there. So first, I don't know what I'm talking about, and there are some things that you're saying now that I'm thinking, yes, he has a point there. But am I the only other one other than Ray Charles that sees what a glaring contradiction that is? So I have nothing, I have nothing to, to stand on, but you're just telling me, yes, I have a point. Except my point is not even about... Um, I'm losing my train of thought here. Not even about advice. It's about being lied to. Respecting me, respecting your fans by be on, being honest to them. But you can't do that. It's just another game, another manipulation to you. And it's fucked up. So let me know if you're going to talk and when. Otherwise, I'm going to go. No hard feelings either way. Love you, buddy. Meant no wrong. We are two people who have been massively put through bullshit and hard times by people. But even I can have possibly made a mistake. My intention is not to deceive you or anyone else. That is a thousand percent the truth. So again, even though I see right through it, you're still lying to me. And that is a lie. Am I making mistakes along the way? Probably am, but let's talk it out instead of text. We are talk. We did talk it out. And you lied to me. And then you tried to go into something you couldn't be caught on. Because you knew you were being caught. And you know that I call people out on their bullshit. And that's what you're paranoid about. That's why you think Phil is out to get you. Because God forbid the day I start unloading. Just like this. Have you ever heard of the top of the, the phrase self-fulfilling prophecy? If you had just left me the fuck alone and started being honest. None of this would be up right now. But no, you had to keep on after being warned multiple times. 
So fine, now that I have to publicly defend myself, it's coming out. And it is your own damn fault. We've been friends for how long? I would think you can at least give me the benefit of the doubt and still bring up any issues and hold me accountable if you feel free to do so. Now, for starters, I did all of that up there, and I said, you know, considering that we've been friends for so long, you would at least have the respect not to play me like that, so you just tried to twist my words and throw them back in my face, which that is very disrespectful in itself. Considering how long we've been friends, you should have known better than to try to manipulate and lie to me like that. And I did give you the benefit of the doubt multiple times, I did give you multiple chances, and I did bring up issues and hold you accountable all of which you backpelled on and then tried to spin and lie. And here, okay, wall of text. Here's where we come to the end of this. Finally, we're almost done because my voice is almost about shot. Okay, first, I work a good portion of the day. I'm taking time out here to reply in between calls and during lulls because that's a big deal. And this has been a lot more for your benefit than mine. Since I only have so much time, I'm not doing a training thing. If my breaks go by a little too quickly, I can't really call. I also don't get out for a while, second I do give people the benefit of the doubt, some a little more than others, and it's not like I haven't hardcore defended you on all of this stuff. Even more criticisms to this point have been largely private. PRIVATE. That tends to fall to the wayside when I am fed a lie and, line and people act like I can't understand live feeds, vids, and all of that stuff as well as text. Like text is the main thing here. That is an excuse. And telling someone to hold you accountable only helps so much when this is how you respond in turn. The work thing being the main reason I haven't rescinded yet, and the, other, and the secondary reason being I only have so much time with Carrie, one, and two, if what I'm going to get on the phone is another variation of this, I'm not going to bother. Which I'm not. I'm done with the bullshit. There is a huge difference between I don't care about the critics and let me hand over this rope for you to hang me with. So when I get excuses, it's not like I haven't heard other people try them a hundred or more times. It's just easier to tell me outright. Whether I like it or not is irrelevant, but this is a matter of respect and I can tell ve very well whether or not I am getting played. In this case it is not just me and I am not the only one saying it, I am just the one that will actually pull you aside and say it. So I am not the only one coming to these conclusions and this knowing a ton of behind the scenes stuff. And this is knowing a ton, ton of behind the scenes stuff. I have given you a lot more credit than you probably realize, but I am seeing and hearing what you are saying and so are other folks as well. And if I have a point there, what does that point come back to? Spinning things and not being straight with us, me or your fans. And hell, I'm a lot nicer than the critics you're feeding the ammo to. Again, fine, you're going to do whatever you're going to do, but at least be honest about it. Don't try to spin on someone that's seen and heard it God way too many times. Same phrases, same stuff, which is why you're getting the same response from me. And the more you try and spin it, the less likely I am, I am to give you the benefit of the doubt, especially when I'm hearing and seeing what I am. As long as I keep getting the spin, as long as I keep hearing how it's tech's fault, etc., I'm not going to buy it. It's on the same tier as, t as Hillary blaming a cartoon frog. It only holds so much weight before that benefit out of the doubt goes benefit of the of the doubt goes out the window. So again, one, I really can't talk at the moment, and I probably shouldn't even be taking moments to type this, but whatever, it's important. Two. This is commonly going around, but apparently I'm the only one of the few that will outright say it. And three, I'm only going to talk if this is legitimately a talk and not the same spin song. Song, dance, and playing around that I saw in the streams, vid and text. I will not be bullshitted simple as that. I don't feel that I've been wronged, but I have been disrespected on a few levels. And I can't honestly go to bat for someone that is not giving me straight answers and falling back on, oh, it's text, or I don't remember, or spinning things. And I'm familiar, very familiar with spinning things. I hear it every day, and I've heard different versions of it over the last six or seven years, at least. So at this point, guys, I've spelled it out very clearly that it is not about advice. I care more about you guys than she does. Easily. This is about she is not treating you right. For the time, the effort, and the emotional investment that you put in, she is taking advantage for her own benefit. She has psychological problems. She needs to get help. She needs to get away from the echo chamber and get psychological help. And here we go with this. Do whatever you want to do. I understand you have to work. I understand you have obligations. I understood that all day. Just because you and I are having an issue doesn't mean I expect you to drop everything. 
tell that to like the last 10 years where you usually expect me to drop everything. Do whatever you want to do. I'm only going to say this over text. This hurt my feelings today and I'm sitting here crying. And this right here is emotional manipulation. Again, the guilt trip. You want me to feel bad for having questioned you. I'm not going to feel bad because I can see through it clearly. And by you consistently trying to do it over and over again and saying the same exact things, it only helped me see it even more. I don't want to debate or whatever or not my feelings sugar shouldn't be hurt. They're my feelings under valid. If you just want to call me, that's fine. If not, fine. Take care of you. I always tell you and everyone else, take care of you. I don't want to have any further conversation via text. I think you're well intended. I'm just sharing how I feel. I'm not going to talk about or ask you further. You can call me. 